And we are live. Guys, welcome back to the Fresh Fit Podcast. I know you guys have just recently seen us, but we're back with some lovely ladies, man. This is going to be a good one, guys. Uh, this is going to be the second time we played our, what, this is the second to last draft the right new, here, Chris? The yeah, new intro. Yep. yeah, shout out to our boy Roberto for making this, and then shout out to Chris for helping me with getting this thing edited. This is our nighttime version. I know a lot of you guys, hey, bro, don't lose the push it to the limit. Don't worry, guys. That's our daytime anthem. And then the nighttime one is a little bit more, you know, how See? do I say this? Female centric, so to speak. So you get both. Yes, yeah, so you guys get both, man. So let's check in with the 1980s. All the nights, it's my world. City light, ain't it good? In the day, I'm in my heart. It's the night, I'm in my heart. I live my life, I'm in my heart. I mean, hey, listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. To I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you want me to leave? I know the night is not what seems. We are back. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Fresh Fit Podcast, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, for some of you guys that are wondering, the the inspiration for that came from, you know, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Has an 80s vibe, as you guys could tell. You know, we got the GTA type stuff on one side and then the re regular modern stuff on the other side. So that's where that song comes from, guys. Uh, RIP to Laura Brennigan. But yeah, that's a remix of that. And we'll put that in the description because I know people are going to ask me a million times for what the, what the song title is. But uh, anyway, with that said, guys, quick announcements. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, where yeah. you guys can get all... The Zoom the calls, stuff. personal videos, and guys, we're going to be adding a, a special feature, and in this month, like I said earlier, spicy content, 50 bucks is going to be crazy, first thing ever done. There you go. Yep, you guys are going to see on the some channel. crazy stuff yep. with Kiki and some other people we know. Uh, and then also, guys, we're on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Every single platform you listen to podcasts, you can catch us there. Yep. Um, You know, those are the top three, but we're on everywhere else, too. You know, we're on Pocket Cast and all the other, like, smaller brands. Every also, everywhere. Freshfitpodcaststore.com, guys. Freshfitpodcaststore.com. Get you, the merch. You guys can get the merch. Ninja Watcher t-shirts, hoodies, Fresh Fit Podcast. And we also got the I Feel Like shirts, which you guys are going to hear a bunch of that tonight. And then you're <laughs> going to hear, um, for example, and we also got the Legacy Unplugged Fitness shirts. Yep. And obviously the traditional Fresh and Fit Podcast shirt with the Sims to Pimps in the back. Also, guys, very important. Please do us a favor and subscribe to, the Clip channel. to our other channel. Chris about to lecture you guys right now. Our Clips channel, guys, only has about 60,000 subs, and 83% of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So a lot of you guys are doing what we yell at you guys for doing, which is fucking ninja watching. Stop ninja watching the shit with your mask on, like the video, take the mask off, and check out the content so that you guys get notified, man, and click the bell as well. Guys, you say you support us, show us the support now by subbing to that channel. Bro, real talk, that channel should be well over 100,000 subs with the amount of views that it gets. It gets over 3 million views by itself guys like almost 4 million so please subscribe to the channel get us to 100k because i want to flex that second plaque on a couple of our haters that do nothing but make videos about us meanwhile we're chasing success so they're chasing clout we ain't giving them no fucking oxygen and we're going to kill them with success so please guys help us hit that 100k so i can flex on the haters with a second plaque <laughs> and then also guys go subscribe to fresh's channel you want to tell them about your vlog channel yeah man so the vlog channel is behind the scenes you know behind the studio dates when we travel we just came back from Tim Cass. It was a pretty good um, collab. So shout out to Tim Cass. Shout out to Tim Cass and No Jumper. Yeah, man. Behind the scenes. Yeah, man. So you guys want to see all the stuff that goes into it, why we're so late all the time for every show? Go ahead and check it out. Uh, you get the behind the scenes. And then also, uh, what else do we do? We need to talk about? Uh, Twitch, man. Yeah, we're Twitch. On Twitch, man. Guys, the quality on Twitch is fucking Twitch. amazing. Twitch.tv slash Fresh and Fit Podcast. We're going to yeah. start showing Twitch out more. So what we're going to do actually on this episode, Chris is going to highlight Twitch comments, right? If you are um, sub to the channel. On, on Twitch. Uh, and yeah, just support us on Twitch, guys. What's, you know what we need? A hype, hype train, train started. Yeah, get a hype train started for us, guys. Yep. Because the thing is, guys, on Twitch, real talk, the quality is actually better. So I, open up another tab, close your Pornhub tab, stop watching the porn, right? <laughs> or whatever you're watching, blocked or whatever website you're watching, right? Go ahead, type in twitch.tv slash fresh and fit podcast, then watch us in 1080p there so you can see these titties in 1080p because it's better quality than uh, YouTube, guys. It's made for streaming. So check it out. Titties. And then also titty, 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 titty. check out uh, Chris's Twitch. <laughs> 
Coach, you want to Thank Coach, you want to uh, Follow me on Twitch. I will do a video reactions, uh, Q and A's, uh, and gaming. By the way, so uh, I'm moving right now. So I'm 26. I should have uh, my place settled, and then I'll, I'll let you guys know. So let's get it. I'll, I'll have some girls on my platform too. So who knows? You might see, you might see Mon and Fresh play some video games with me. Get smoked. You get destroyed, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Smash Brothers, you get destroyed. So let's get it. Call, okay. du Call of Duty. Shout um, out to so yeah, man, check us out there. And then, guys, last but not least, um, any video ideas that you guys have, DM please Trey. send them to Trey. Trey is filtering out all reaction or potential topics. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we typically have two or three topics per night that we discuss with you guys, contemporary events, uh, RP Truth type stuff, you know, anything crazy that you guys want to talk about. Send it to Trey. If it's good, we'll bring it on the show. And we will shout you out, actually. We'll put you at the top of the description with where the idea came from, and we shout out like the person today. that brought it. Like, like today. Yeah, today. So, uh, cool. yeah, we got a lot of requests for this Carrie Hilson reaction, so we'll get into it. But anyway, let's introduce the ladies, man. So, ladies, give us your name, your social, where you live at, <laughs> your government name. That's no, kidding. Uh, just say your name, your age, uh, what you do for a living, and then your current dating status. We'll start here. All right. Okay, my name is Brielle. I'm 23. I'm single, and I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. And your current dating status? So you so I'm single. single, sir. What do you do for work? I'm my own business. My own entrepreneur. What is that? Waxing. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Oh, like hair. Hair waxing. No. Mm -hmm. Vaginas. Oh, okay. But it's hair and All right. vagina. Vagina. Hair. Vagina, whatever. Hair. Okay. It's okay. all one. Well, that definitely that's is an, uh, job security. That's an awesome job. I'll tell you that. Awesome Anything like in female it. beauty is job security. Yeah. yeah. There you so that's go. That's good. Love it. Um, my name is Kayla, 757, Virginia, Norfolk, Virginia. Um, Candid, Co uh, Candid Kayla and Candid Coils on Instagram. I have a holistic store, which is Candid Coils. Um, and I'm a model coach, holistic health coach, and I'm also a model and creative director. Shit, cool. Okay. Awesome. That's a lot. Welcome back. Welcome back, Miss hey, Puerto Rican Queen. What's going on, guys? It's your girl Lex. I'm up here again. Thank you guys for having me. Um, if you guys don't know, it's Puerto Rican Queen on Instagram with three E's. Um, I do modeling, acting, hosting, video vixen work, casting calls, whatever you guys need. Hit your girl up. You can follow me at or you can find me too at alexisfolan.com if you want to book me. So you already know what it is, y'all. And last time you were here, it got crazy, right? Oh, I, I was here two days in a row, and it was more than crazy. I was like, I think I need to go back. <laughs> She's here for, for uh, Fab and Fit when the girls were going crazy Fuck in the studio. Fab and Fit. World yeah. star! <laughs> hey, look, I got world put on star. world star because that shit, so I ain't even world mad star. at it. <laughs> All right, and next? All right, my name is Angelica. I'm from Russia. My first time here. Thanks Mother for, Russia. Yes, thanks <laughs> for my friend, Xenia, for bringing me here. Mm -hmm. Um, my Instagram is C O M E underscore U N underscore boss. I know it's long and hard, but whatever. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so I just quit my job. Actually, I was on HR in the healthcare company, but you know, it's summertime. So, okay. I can't be working, <laughs> uh, but I have my own brand. It's like clothing for girls. It's like just starting. So, um, you can follow it too. You can find it on my Instagram bio. It's urban divinity. Um, I sell cute stuff, and I am single. Cool. And right how, old are you? how old are you? I'm 22. Cool. Awesome. Yes. Welcome back. What's up? <laughs> it's Harmony, and I'm 24. I'm single. I'm a student and a spoken word artist. All right. Good to see you again. Okay. And welcome back, Miss. Uh, have fun on boats. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't got a yacht. She ain't messing try. with you. Yeah. <laughs> you get drunk faster. Yeah. So my name is Ksenia. I'm single. Um, I'm a model. I don't know. Uh, my Instagram ks underscore Borovikova. I don't know how you spell that, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> She's tagged it on, on on the story. It's translation. Fine. It's uh, I will break you. I will break you. Yeah. <laughs> translation. All right. Oh. I am Yazzie Naz. I am, it's that Yaz though online if you're nasty. Um, I'm a community organizer. I have a jewelry line. And as of COVID, I do porn and adult content. And I'm single because I don't know how to date now doing adult content. Is it is it harder now because of what you do, you, you would say? It's harder because like, I don't know if guys just want to fuck me or if they want to date at this point. Mm. So it's it's difficult. I'm still trying to navigate it. I'm still trying to figure out what the dynamic is that I want when it comes to dating. So it's interesting, but I'm here. I'm still dating. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we had a couple of uh, 
Peace Rides come on and had like a similar experience. Yeah. 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 No, for sure. We've had uh, a bunch of them come on. And well, you came to the right place to get the truth if you got questions. Super chats. Uh, all right. Super chats, real quick. Um, all right. So uh, we got, let's see here. Uh, Talum Loic, uh, yo, Fresh and Myron, how many plates are y'all currently spinning? And whenever you're out of plates, how do you manage to acquire new ones with a tight schedule like this? Patreon. Well, I, we told you already, bro. Like, uh, like, yeah, Patreon, if you guys want to see the real behind the scenes. But, yo, real talk, man, me and Fresh. We we our our dating. You guys talk about oh y'all are famous now. You should be getting girls. No, on the contrary, <laughs> sir. We've actually not been getting as many girls because we've been grinding fucking crazy, bro. We do two shows a day. We're like focused on just working, bro. And at this point, me and Fresh don't fuck with a girl unless like it's gonna benefit us to some degree, like with our business. Like we don't even nah. That's it, how it I is feel what with it is. porn right now. It's like it's hard to date because like I wake up to money in my bank account of people that want to watch me shower. They want to watch me oh, shit. breakfast from the moment I wake up. So I'm like, how do I date and turn around and look at someone like, dude, they're paying me, babe. There you go. What you got to just turn it to your advantage. Man, I wish I could charge people for watching me shower. I mean, honestly, <laughs> to, to get over to get over plates leaving, yeah, just always be um acquiring new new plates. Yeah, we yeah. always, always be sourcing, yeah. bro. Always, always sourcing. be sourcing, like. Yeah. And remember, like our reality is much different than yours. Like you know, obviously, you know, we're on a different vibe right now. But dude, you just always got to be sourcing. Always be sourcing. All right, uh, hotly. Five dollars, fresh and fit. Been watching for a while. Are you guys religious at all? I've learned that purpose and faith is masculine and should always come first. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really a religious, bro. But you know, if you are, that's cool. Um, fresh isn't either. He's a uh, terrible Catholic. Well, what do you consider I would you say guys? Hold my on. Okay, you're a terrible Catholic. What do you? No, consider no, no, I'm not Catholic. Oh, you're a terrible Catholic. half Christian, half Muslim. But I would choose. Are you a, half? I'm a hundred percent. I'm hundred percent Muslim. <laughs> I choose the Muslim side. Oh, you Muslim? Yes. I am born and raised. Salam alaikum. Oh shit. Salam. Damn, this is super I'm a haram. Third what you're doing? Okay. I was gonna say, I'm you're very, doing that super haram. Wait, wait, oh, I'm shit. a very haram Muslim. Yeah, I, got, no I got deported out of Saudi Arabia back to America. That's how haram <laughs> Muslim I am. Okay, okay, Holy hold shit. hold your crazy stories for a second, because uh, it, 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 getting deported from Saudi Arabia is hilarious. Uh, to America okay. though. Yeah, I know, but there, there's. <laughs> Uh, I'm uh, my parents are from Sudan. I'm Muslim, Papa so Molly, I'm we got we got to unpack that. You, you don't get deported from Saudi Arabia easily. All right, Black Wolf Inc. But I'm sorry, ladies, but I must request that you sum the consequences of a redhead's actions yesterday. Fresh unleashed ninja art, crusty athletes feet jujitsu. Yes, sir, I will. No, nah. oh, oh shit, no, no, no put it away. We don't. No quiero. Uh, no quiero. Daryl Blake, uh, five dollars. Hey, Myron, any tips on dealing with your anger? You've done really done a great job on controlling, especially last night's show. So, okay, real quick, uh, little. A lot of guys message me saying, hey, man, you should have kicked that girl off when she said that you guys have content that c comes off as misogynistic or rapey, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, guys. Me kicking her off would have been giving her what she wanted. If she's going to make accusations like that, cool. I'm going to give you a platform to prove to me that we're like that. And she couldn't. So my thing is this. Give them a shovel and let them dig themselves a hole. You know, I'm not going to kick her out so she has the, you know, ability to skirt accountability for her actions and her words. So I said, no prove it and she couldn't so you know what i'm saying that's you gotta always um gotta control your emotions man so i think about it, on it for a better show if she just left it would have been boring yeah but she stayed and couldn't prove a point that's a way better show yeah and and on top of that guys you gotta remember that i'm not gonna kick girls off for disagreeing with me yeah i only kick people out when they're disrespectful difference of opinion is fine but lack of respect and when there's issues okay alan uh ramsey ten dollars myron one red aka cap queen zero thank you uh greetings from the netherlands shout out lick, to europe lick my balls here's some uh, dough for a hair transplant <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> but seriously the way you uh you stayed calm yesterday was an example for everyone thanks man uh krell's ten dollars a uh, ten twenty dollars bro last night myron is in his base form defeated a super saiyan gold god red hair a super saiyan blue blue hair a super saiyan three long-headed blonde and a regular saiyan Black hair, what a legend. Hey, bro, it was tough, man. <laughs> but I'm beerus on these hoes. All right, Pitfu uh, Pasos, $5. Respect for standing your ground as always, gentlemen. New intro, AF, a hot as fire. Thank you very much. Cool. Uh, Versus the creator. And guys, from this point forward, we're going to have to probably go with uh, 20 and 20 up. And up. Uh, yep. But I'll read the rest of these because these came in. Uh, $5. I'm currently a personal trainer. I wanted to ask if you have any tips about how to start an online business. Stay tuned. I'm going to have an episode with my boy, Brandon Carter, and he's an expert at that. So stay tuned. Uh, ten dollars, Dylan and Sanders. The irony is that women like the redhead don't like the guys that wait twelve dates to make a move. How many girls are like, yeah, I'm trying to smash the local librarian? They'd rather whine about f boys. Very true. Uh, yeah. Sidish Madreka. Okay, last night's after hours was painful to watch. How do you guys do this every night? R. P. Myron's here. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> uh, Suve, five dollars. Long time watcher, first super chat. Keep it push, pushing, guys. Redhead wasn't ready. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeet or be yeeted beach. <laughs> Can you ask the ladies if they see marriage as a business transaction or love? 
Uh, oh. You know what? That will, that will come into today's conversation. Don't worry, bro. Uh, Melvin Kubis, uh, I was wonder, watching the Redhead Girl video, and damn, she's a menace to society. Eh, it is what it is. <laughs> Middle Eastern Myron. Hey, bro, thank you very much. Myron, got you a 72 virgins after last night with the red, Redhead chick. I lost so many brain cells. Thank you very much, uh, my Middle Eastern brother. Uh, <laughs> Tilted, $5. Shout out to Verglizzi Gobbler. Question for the females. Are they night riders? Keep the grind up. You will see that in a second. <laughs> I venture to believe that probably all of them are. Uh, Abrima John. Love the show, guys. There's a Nigerian multimillionaire whose wife was the wedding planner slash maid of honor for his wedding. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, with his mistress, would any of the ladies be willing to do the same? How many wives does he already have? He probably has a bunch. Uh, I mean, probably I, Nigerian. I'm down to be wife number three and do the same. Okay. Three, three <laughs> P. Nigeria. King of the North. 39.9. I have, I'm going to have PTSD every time I see a woman with red hair. Hope this one is sane, guys. Oh, hilarious. Shout out, Kayla. And that, that came from King of the North. Paul Dittmar, shout out to Kayla and the 757. I'm driving back to Newport News right now. Hey, shout out to you as there well. You Thank you. Icon, Icon, $2. Girl in the middle in white can get it any day. Uh, <laughs> What's your Instagram? You Instagram? What's your Instagram? Again, okay, it's uh, com, <laughs> C-O-M-E <laughs> underscore U-N underscore boss. Guys, and it's not C-U-M, you pervs. It's C-O-M-E, exactly. okay? Uh, all right. And her Instagram, all the girls' Instagrams are below, guys. Uh, Nick Page, make sure to send her a dick pic. Uh, wax these nuts. What's up? Looking forward to the show. Okay, you got a client already that wants you to wax his wax his nuts. What's your rebuttal to that? Ew. Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna wax Wait. some balls. So you you wax some... vagina, but, okay. not, but not balls. That's gonna hurt. Hold on. That's too sensitive. That's, that's misandristic. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a lot of How dare you? How dare you? We want to be waxed too. Yeah. Do you? you? No, no, just kidding. No, we're <laughs> not. I want to be waxed for real. When you guys get on the table, you're like, nah. Nah, nah, we're just, we we're can't take that. Shout out to right. Manscaped, by the way. Yeah, shout out to Manscaped. Yo, but imagine if you lasered. Y'all can't take it. Down there. Then you would never not have not, hair. It's not even amazing. like laser. It feels like getting to a go. tattoo. Right. Like, That's yeah. smart it feels as fuck, like though. That. No more shaving it. And no, it's worse mind. than a tattoo. Not more almost cutting your balls off, right? Yeah, but that's for fairly Oh, actually, we have actually a... We got you a, a solution for that. You have someone on staff yeah. to do that? Yeah, we got that. No, no, Rico we got a twenty four nine nine. Got my eyes on Kayla. Chocolate with the afro look just like all my exes. Hashtag my type. All right. Oh, uh, she's taking though. Oh. Cool. So from this point forward, guys, we're going to go. Uh, Chris, make the call. Uh, 20 and up. 20 and up. Okay, 20 and up, guys. Um, We've got to get into the show. So uh, let's hit the first question. Thank okay. you guys for all the support. <clears throat> so, and then, sorry, we have three more if you don't read it. Oh, three more? Okay. Uh, okay. Sif Lord Entertainment. Uh, 20 20 I want to thank you, y'all, so much for helping me improve my life. Y'all have definitely helped me and my marriage a great deal. Definitely rocking with y'all. And ladies, may the cat be with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, man, we've been getting an influx of married couples watching us for serious relationships. Guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it. To the ladies that watch us, thanks for having an open mind and seeing the male perspective. Because to be honest with you, you're rarely going to ever get the truth about how men really think because there's serious consequences for men being honest in today's society. You get canceled, called misogynist called rapey etc like fucking yesterday so yeah guys are very scared to give their opinions because when they do it's always with some kind of shaming language dl so saying a hundred bucks fnf team is the greatest fingers crossed this show will break into the mainstream soon yeah, it will, uh, yeah we're almost there man we went on tim cast and no jumper man so yeah uh we, joe rogan next congratulations working. guys if anyone has Thanks. to connect with joe rogan dm us that's the next move is Joe Rogan. We go to the top, baby. And then I'm going to go on this podcast and say, we're going to surpass you. Then you're going to kick me out of the studio and Frank Castle me. Jay Red, uh, $20. Uh, props to you for controlling your emotions last night, Myron. A lot of men lack that ability and wonder why women don't respect them. Yeah, bro. You can't play their game. They're emotional creatures. You're supposed to be the stoic rock. Obviously, you don't tolerate disrespect, but she was respectful. She just said things that weren't intelligent. Shout out to the mod. Shout out to Twitch. Shout out to the chat, by the way. So let's Perfect. get it. All right. So uh, first question first. Okay. So lady, first question. So when it comes to the dating, right, and your your current status, whatever, how do you put this? I'll say this. If you had two options, right, you had two guys. One guy was everything you wanted, right? He was a lot of fun, very exciting, very successful, but he may cheat from time to time versus a guy that's like a nice guy, the average guy that you meet. He may be cool, but he's not like exciting and fun, but he's going to be, he's gonna be very, uh, I would say, loyal to you. And he's not as dominant as the other guy. So one guy's dominant, the one that's successful, that's um, you know good looking, but may cheat. The other one's not as dominant, more like I would say uh, beta. But he's 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 gonna be loyal and and I would say um, very faithful to you only. Who would you choose? The guy that's fun and exciting, successful but may cheat, that's more dominant, or the guy that's more like you know beta, more like average guy, but not as as much as much fun. Who'd choose, and why? <clears throat> I like to have fun. 
So I can't choose no boring person. Okay. So you choose a guy that's successful and more fun? Yes. Okay. I mean, she has a nose ring, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> All right, Just next. Simple. I probably choose a guy who doesn't cheat. I feel like I deserve to Merch. be not cheated on. <laughs> so, yeah, that part. <laughs> So you just stay home and watch TV and be bored? I guess. I mean, oh, and look sexy. Mm. <laughs> I'm cute. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's fine. What's going on, y'all? So, of course, you know, I want both. <laughs> I want somebody that's not going to cheat on me. That's not going to, like... But at the end of the day, like, if I'm being real, um, I don't really want somebody that's boring. So, right. of course, I need somebody to match my energy type of thing. And if that's the label that I gets like yeah I guess I would rather the chance of being cheated on than like completely like x naying like anything else so okay. um, I would have to agree as well I would probably pick somebody who's fun because I like having like an excitement in the relationship because even if I do pick the guy who's loyal I'll probably be the one <laughs> to be you know looking for fun on the side so it's I think I'd rather have somebody who is more fun and I'll watch out, you know, and see what they're doing. But, you know, it is what it is. From my experience, everybody cheats. cheats. Exactly. At least once. All right. Keeping it real. Okay, cool. That's a fact. Damn. Well, shit. (laughs) (laughs) I would pick the one who doesn't cheat, obviously, and who's more of like a homebody because, you know, I feel like you can mold that person more. You can make them comfortable to get out their show. And that way you can kind of like, you know, like, Get them out of their comfort zone. They'll be even more closer to you. I don't know. That's how I think. So That's you want true, you want a beta that you can you can control, but not a nobody dominant said guy? control. No, I said get him out of his show. That's still him. I was just the one that made him comfortable to be that person. Okay, interesting. So I'd say yeah, I would pick like the loyal guy. I mean, I can always find a way how to have fun and everything. So I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I know what that means. Capper. Uh oh. <laughs> Go ahead. We're Never listening. Mind. No, I mean have fun together. You know that's the thing. So yeah. um, on votes. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> okay. Definitely. There you go. So a nice guy that's stable and safe. I think yeah. I'm a little bit older. And I wanted the perfect person in my 20s. And I think that I realized that that perfect person doesn't exist. Exactly. So I think, you know, now I will want both. I want the beta and I want the alpha. Because I think the beta male is the one that's going to cater to me. That's going to nurture me. You know, the the baths with the flowers in it. The flyouts, the islands and stuff. But then I want the alpha because that's the person that's going to know how to fuck me and handle me and deal with me. We want both. But I need both, mm-hmm. you know? You plus, we can have plus, both. plus two or three more, you oh. know? But yeah. She said not only but you, but somebody else, What baby. I will <laughs> say is I want them to all be monogamous to me. Oh. Oh. That's while I deal with all of them. <laughs> Damn. Like, I want them to make a choice to be like, I want to be beta to her. I want to be alpha to her. You put it on another time. <laughs> Double Do you? <laughs> Wait. Wait. Do you? Wait, wait, hold on, hold don't, on. Don't, so don't you do want that. all those guys to only see you? Yeah, I want them well, to, but I want them to make a choice. I don't want, I don't want to force them to do it. You're gonna triple cap me. <laughs> I don't want to force them to do it. I want them to make a choice to be like, I'm making a choice as an adult to be like, I only want to be with you. I have the choice to be with other people, but I only want to be with you. Wow. Yo, but so I know even that when you're, you're doing... with other people that are fulfilling other mm. sides of you that need to be fulfilled that I cannot be. Fulfilled. I cannot fulfill because I'm an mm. alpha or I'm a beta. Because, you know, alpha males don't want to rub my feet and shit. You know, they just want to fuck me and do aggressive alpha male shit. And I like it. But, you know, beta males want to do, you know, the nurturing, the cuddling and all of that, the hickeys and all of that. And I like that, too. I so hope someone else I don't want to have to choose. And I feel like I don't have to choose at this point in my life. So if you had to choose one, though, which one would you choose? It's going to be it's going to be the alpha male. Okay. Definitely. It's funny because when you said that, right? I thought to myself, you're right because a lot of girls, they'd rather have everything rather than just have one. So to have the boyfriend that's, you know, with them, giving them the attention, the emotional, you know, connection, that the sugar daddy paying some of the bills, flights out to Dubai. <clears throat> no pun intended. Why um, not? And then they might have the guy that just has 
good sex, a uh, good D. You know what I'm saying? So they got they got all the options. Everyone can play their role. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I get happy. it. I get it. <laughs> is, I'll be happy. Is it cool? Maybe that not. Said but... I'm still single. You know, I don't have that yet. You know, but now where I'm at, I'm like, I feel like that may be what I'm looking for. Is that why you got like um, extradited from Dubai? Oh, it, I got I got <laughs> deported from Saudi Arabia because I just wanted to hoe out once I graduated high school. Wait, are you mm -hmm. serious? Yeah, I ran away from home because I wanted to hoe out. Wait, but how did they find you? So I eventually Wait, had to. Is that your father? I, yeah, my, is that your father? <laughs> no, my, your father's here. <laughs> this is like my dad. This is my dad's sponsor that helped him out, getting me deported. But like I had to pull up to the embassy and pull one of those with my passport out. Like I'm American citizen. Like I need help. The Saudi police behind us. Habibi. And like yeah. the Saudi police were just like either you. I mean, the American embassy was like you go home or like we're gonna give you to Saudi police. So I came back to JFK with just my pocketbook. Like I'm back. I'm deported. I hold out too bad in Saudi. Arabia. When'd you come back? 2010. Damn, I got so many questions, but uh, go. yeah. So I'll say this: <laughs> after listening to this, uh, I had to replace Myron for a second. This is Myron's uh, toxic Middle Eastern brother, Middle Eastern Myron, and as a self-proclaimed <laughs> alpha male that's misogynistic and doesn't allow Western women in his uh, presence all the time, I would say that there is no such thing as an alpha male that would allow a woman to have sex with other men. So therefore, it's true. You would only be subject to beta males if you were to that's do that. That's why I'm single. Because they're like, go get you a group of beta males. Like yeah. That. And I'm like, no. Because alpha males like don't alpha share male. women. I like alpha males, but I, I want an alpha male that's so alpha that it's like, you can fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. But I know you're See, that's very haram. Fuck me when it's time to. Everything about me in is my haram. Country, I'm haram all day. In my country, we do this. I wake up haram. <laughs> when girls you're do that. Fucking it's haram. Sad, <laughs> wait, in Saudi Arabia, <laughs> like, you got leash, you got lashed with like a lash shift in hot oil. Like, that's yeah. instead of jail time, it was like, you get 15 lashes. Do you want to stay here and get them all? Or do you want to stay in jail and get one a day for 15 days? Damn. So that's why I got deported. I was in like, my country, women shit. have no rights. So take off the fucking <laughs> Wait, <laughs> You can't drive over there, right? You can't drive either? All of that's changed. This is all 10 years ago. So uh -huh. now, you know, you can yeah, drive, yeah. you can hoe out. They got drugs out there. Like Saudi Arabia is a whole different country now. Oh, shit. Wow. But when I got deported, like you can barely show face in public. So, so can you go back? I'm not going to try to go back at this point. Like being knowing that I was deported and blacklisted, you know, I can go to Dubai, I can go to Qatar, I can go to Bahrain, so I can go to the Middle East. What, what was the actual I can't go to Saudi Arabia. So though. just real quick before mm. we get it cuz I got another question uh for every, all the other ladies on the panel so we don't take up too much time here. What was the exact reason they deported you cuz they had to deport you under some rule of law? Yeah. What I was ran it? away from home. So I was living without a male sponsor or oh. a male guardian. Okay, so so you you ran from home. You entered the country on your U.S. passport. I was already there. I grew up in Saudi Arabia, so I spent the last sixteen years in Saudi Arabia growing up. So, uh, elementary are you a Saudi school, citizen? No, I'm I'm Afro Native American. Well, I'm well, an Air Force brat. Okay, all right. So so, so your your dad was stationed up. there with the military. You were born there. Yeah, and once which... I graduated high school, I ran away from home because I was already working. I was already making okay. money. So because I was living outside of home without a male guardian. Yeah, they got rid of you. Sponsor, okay, that makes that sense. That was very, very haram. Yeah. <laughs> so it's either you get deported or the Saudi police will take me back. Yo, you ran through the, through the uh, desert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, because for those that don't know, because uh, I have relatives that were born in Saudi Arabia. For you guys that don't know, Saudi Arabia, it's very hard to get citizenship. They don't give it to you mm -hmm. if you're born there, like in the United States or other like first world Western countries. In Saudi Arabia, you know, like no. you pretty much have to have like a lineage you to be able to, to get their be citizenship. At least third or fourth generation born there, and a tribe from Saudi Arabia has to adopt you into their tribe. Yeah, to exactly. Be a Saudi oh, wow. Citizen. So that's why they got rid of you so quick because you're an American citizen. And it's like the way they look at it, like, yo, you guys are here as Americans as Your a privilege. Guess. So it's like, yeah. So like if y'all like violate, we're going to kick you out extra hard. So all right, I'm not surprised. Um, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> God damn. So going back. Uh, That's some real shit. Yeah. Yeah. They, they will kick you out for that. I didn't know um, that. So here's, a, so here's the other question, ladies. So I got a question. So who leads in relationships, men or women? We'll start here and then go around. I think that like emotionally, women should lead because we have more control over our emotions. 
Okay. I think that logistically, men should lead. Can you define how I'm woman- using myself as an example. Like, I'm terrible with my finances. Like, I had to get my flat tire filled up and patched before I drove down here to be here on the podcast. Don't feel bad. Most and, women are bad with money. You know, money like, my car looks a hot mess inside. So, it's like, that's the thing when you have a man around. Like, they manage those things for you. And you don't realize mm-hmm. that until you realize that you don't have a man around. And what's you have your, to do all of what's it. What's your P-star name? What's my what? P-star name. P star? What's a P star? It's Patch Tire. Is her is her a porn star name? <laughs> oh, uh-huh. that Yaz though. It's that Yaz though. Is that Yaz though? So, yes. so if I go to X videos or Pornhub, if you go up. to Pornhub and many vids, that Yaz though will come up. Dude. See now they're gonna close the Twitch tab and open up the God porn damn, tab fresh, that they just man. closed. Man. I'm like, fresh, I have no, Twitch man. too. I have Twitch too. I have Twitch too. Oh. Yeah, but you don't have anything close. that I can like put on there. We literally told them at the beginning of the show to close, close the porn <laughs> tab and open a Twitch tab. Now they're gonna open back up the porn tab fault. and search. I was just curious, man. God damn, I thought it was gonna be like run away. Like, okay, so can you and real quick because we gotta get to other girls here. What can you define emotionally lead? That's a very unclear. So, like for females, I feel like we're more in charge of our emotions. Where before we react emotionally, you know, we go through all these scenarios where how it's going to affect the other person because we're a lot more empathetic than males. Like males aren't really there to be empathetic; they're there to lead and provide. So, if you're leading and providing, and which is basically a cutthroat thing, you're not going to be empathetic about it because your end goal is to provide. But for females, I would argue for oh, go ahead, finish, go ahead. To, to nurture and to provide comfort. So, you know, I see where it's like it makes sense for us to be there where it comes to emotional decisions to consult with a female to be like, you know, you're tuning into your female side or your emotional side. Let me help kind of balance this out a little bit. I truly believe that we're meant as humans to be in pairs where we have that balance. Sometimes a female may be more masculine. Sometimes a guy may be more feminine. But at the end of the day, we need that balance. And we need someone to balance us out where, where, wherever we're more masculine or more feminine. Like, I'm an Aries, so I'm aggressive. So a, a, a better male can't really balance me out. Like, you have to be an alpha male where you're able to balance out my masculinity and my femininity Got at it. the same time. Okay. So, okay. You said a lot of things there that, with all due respect, I think are incorrect. Um, you said that women lead emotionally because they know how to control their emotions. I would argue that women actually are far less adept at controlling their emotions than men are. The whole purpose of being emotionless by itself by is, means that you can control your emotions. We have more estrogen. You guys have more testosterone. Yeah. So it's like naturally, if it's a natural, yeah, that yeah. word. Naturally, if it's a natural pairing, you know, we're going to balance each other. Yeah, out no, 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 because you, you said up multiple things. So the first thing I'm telling you is I think is incorrect is that women are better at managing their emotions than men. They're actually not the, men. Men are far better. At <laughs> men right. don't deal with their emotions, period. So that so when they do deal with by, it, it's oh, here's explosion. the thing, though, by not dealing with their emotions, that in itself shows temperance That's with. Not- that's controlling their control. emotions. I'm an Aries too, show Bill. Well, but that's th- like, not do you not control. understand the point? No, no, I get the point. It's like not dealing with it is not control over your emotion. That means you have something that's not dealt with that can explode at any given moment if it's triggered the right way. For us as females, we're more emotional where we're putting it all out there. So when you try to trigger us, it's harder to trigger us because we've dealt with these things. You're actually like, you're. it's complete reverse of what you're saying. The fact that you're so emotional shows that we you can't control emotion, your emotions. We put our emotions out there. So our emotions are out therefore, there. Therefore, it is less. Let me so finish. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on. Let, control me control finish. let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yes. Let me finish. I agree. Yes. By you being emotional all the time, you are basically not exercising temperance to control your emotions. So therefore, that defeats what you're trying to say. It's like wearing wearing your emotions on your sleeve. Which literally means that you can't control it. So it depends from female to female. Some can, some can't. But as females with estrogen, we wear our emotions on our sleeve. Which therefore means that you can't control it to the same degree that a man can. I'm not every female. Okay, you you may be an exception to the rule. But if we were to take 100 women and 100 men and we uh, figured out who is more in control of their emotions the men would overwhelmingly be in more control of their emotions over the 100 women. I get what so you're saying. So exceptions don't make the rule, but in, on it. a balance of probabilities, men are far more 
controlling of their emotions than women are. And it's actually biologically, of, please let me finish. Yeah. It's actually biologically proven by the way men and female and female brains are wired that women prioritize emotion when making decisions, whereas men prioritize ration and logic when making decisions. I feel like men prioritize just feel like feeling out how to mask their emotions. Okay. Than females. Feel or do you females know? aren't good at masking our emotions. Okay. So we're more emotional to react in the, from an emotional place than men because you guys are more used to controlling it. You so can speculate, us, but I'm telling you fact. Men prioritize rat ration and logic over emotions when making decisions, whereas women prioritize emotion. That is a biological I can, fact. I can get you on that, where men use the left side of the brain and women use the right side. I can agree on that. You know, where it's like, we may be less trained. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, we'll let's, move on. let's agree to let's, disagree yeah, here. Yeah, uh, Miss yeah. Russia. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Who uh, leads in relationship? Men? Was <laughs> okay. okay. What was the question? Yeah, that's, that's kind of long. Yeah, yeah the question who is can uh, lead? who leads the relationship, men or women? Men or women. I mean, I'd say both. Because, like, they're like, supposed to support each other mm -hmm. and, like, do things together, decide, like, things together, like, what to do, how to do, and all of that. Um, so, I don't think there there is, like, someone supposed to lead. Does Vladimir Putin run Russia with his wife? Oh, we don't know about his family. Yeah. It's all very secretive. But the that's what I'm saying. Family in Russia is secretive? Yeah, no. Okay. We don't. So, so, in your last relationship, who led? You or your man? In the last one? Yeah. Me. Oh. <laughs> okay. That says a lot. That that's says true. a lot. And, okay. uh, out of curiosity, <laughs> out of curiosity, who, who, uh, who ended the relationship? Me. Yep. <laughs> that, that confirms it. Yeah. yeah. You can't make the, you can't, can't make this up. So, um, okay. So I guess based on your experiences and everything else like that, do you think, you think both parties should be leading? I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's your opinion. Okay, yeah, how many presidents opinion. does Russia have? Oh. <laughs> one forever, one. Okay, it, he'll never go away. Okay, <laughs> just just wondering. Okay, um, okay, uh, we'll move on to the next one. Who leads in the relationship? So we got one for you said you said the man and the woman, or did you say what was your final answer? It's you gave a lot there. It's equal balance. I think that so. You think both, both as well? Do. I think that humans are supposed to be in pairs. Okay. Okay. But so you're saying both lead. Both lead. Okay. What about what? What's your take on this? I was here last time, so does that count? Uh, no. I mean, you can go off of your personal opinion. Like, yeah. you don't have to go both. off of both. Okay. Both, both as well. Yeah. Okay. I will have to agree that both, but I like, like, in my opinion, I like when a man like takes a lot of initiative, like, and does a lot of things, and the woman just supports him. But again, like I can't just be following somebody, you know, like following blindly. a man yeah. blindly. Yeah. So I have to, it has to be equal somewhat. Maybe like, okay, 80 20. No, it's like hold on one second. Hold 60 on. 40. <laughs> hold on. You literally contradicted yourself like three times. I'm sorry. I think I said something. You, you, wrong. you said, you said, what first you say, well, you know, I think both, but I like it when the man leads. But at the same time, I don't want to follow a it's man. Like, I don't know it's got to be 80 20. Like, it, we need, like, can you give us one clear cut answer here? Like, should the okay. man lead or the woman? I'll say equal then. Equal yeah. as well. Okay. So are okay. we talking 50 50 here? I would say maybe 60 40. Man 60, woman 40. So by definition, <laughs> that's a leader. That is not I know equal. it's not equal, but I'm saying it's like. That means the man's a leader then? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's your answer. Man's leader. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Whatever. Let's take that. I think I see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your take on this? Okay. So what's going on? It's girl Lex. Um, I definitely feel like merch. Shirts and stores. Shirts and stores. Yeah. Can we pull hey, it up look, real quick? We nope. should. Look, pull that shit up. <laughs> Anyways, um, I definitely feel like, okay. So as a woman, I have been through situations, whatever, where I feel like I would have been led in a, in a better realm if I had a man behind me. Mm -hmm. which is not what I have. So, of course, yes. Like, I feel like the man is supposed to lead. That's what I want. Not that I'm able to give that yet to, like, to a man because mm -hmm. it's something I'm clearly, like, still figuring out. Like, you know, like, you know, like I'm trying to do it. I'm 23 years old. Like, I'm trying to be, like, the woman for a man, of course. But, um, no, I need a man to lead. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. <laughs> I need a man to lead. I need somebody to tell me, like, no, bitch, don't do that shit or do it <laughs> or not do it. Like, whatever it is. But... 
So because I without it, I'll do what I want to do. I will go out and I will act a fool, a complete mm-hmm. fool. So is it safe to say that like the guys you had currently in your dating life weren't really men you wanted to submit to? Um yeah, not maybe yes. So not men that I wanted to submit to, but not necessarily a situation where it's men that I shouldn't have submitted to. Does that okay. make sense? Okay. So I could have submitted to them. I could have been that person, but you know, me being a woman stuck in my head, I run this, I want to do it, I want to do it myself. And then I end up on the other end like, hey, I need help. <laughs> like I need like <laughs> I need you here. I need you to do this, I need you to do that, I need you to to be the man in my life. So if I if I would have accepted, you know, the man a lot easier, then situations would have gone smoother. Okay. But thanks for being honest. Yeah, some real right. shit. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> a lot of women would not admit that. That's yeah. some real ass shit right uh, there. All right. Uh, what about you? Should the man lead or the woman lead? I'm gonna agree with your girl Lex. Um, I'm really big on yin yang, so like feminine, and masculine. Mm-hmm. I believe, honestly. From the way I was raised, like my mom, she handled the finances, the budgeting, the planning, the stuff that men usually aren't good at doing. And the men handle the footwork, the the mm-hmm. action, the authority, like all of that. That's that's why I feel better, you know, in submitting to a man with those aspects. But you have to give me a reason to submit. That's you can't point. you have to have wise leadership. So, so you're conditionally submissive. As she should be. I mean, I can't submit to every man out here just doing what they want to do. You have to be a wise leader. You have but, to provide what I need. But so. wouldn't it be fair to say that if the man is dating you, you've selected him, so therefore you should automatically be submissive? No. If no, I'm dating date him, him, I'm getting to know him. We're not married. You know, I'm still getting to know him. I'm getting to know what he's doing, how he leads, how he navigates situations. So that's when I can say, okay, you know, I can submit to you when we're when you're leading in direction or maps or wherever we're traveling or whatever i can submit to you when you know in certain situations but you prove that you know how to lead i'm not just going to submit to people yes you have to prove it yes show me i feel like you have to provide the wise leadership for me to be able to say okay i can relinquish that power but wouldn't it be fair to say that by you selecting him in the first place and agreeing to meet him in some romantic manner that you need to exercise submission to some degree to see what he's getting involved with? Or would you say that it's on it's still on him to prove uh, himself to you during the course of a first date? You're going to come in basically masculine and make him work. Yeah. Oh, no. I That's what you're say- saying. You're, you're basically saying I'm conditionally submissive, which means if you're conditionally submissive, that means the condition needs to be met where the guy meets a certain prerequisite to unlock that submissiveness. So you're saying you are going to stay masculine until he proves that he's worthy of you're being submitted to, You're not going to submit right? to a beta male, basically. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you have to... Okay. Subconsciously, I have to be like, it shouldn't be something I have to think about. Oh, I'm going to submit to you. It should be right. like a, Given. you've proven to me multiple times or maybe enough times for me okay. that I can be the woman for you right. instead of so being conditional. Su- I, and I want to go around the table real quick the la- with the ladies on this. Do you, uh, and we'll get to you too, you can say your piece, but just a yes or no here. Do all the ladies at the table agree that submission should be conditional on the man that they're romantically dealing with? Yes. 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 I guess yes. Yes Everybody's as well. Different. You you like what do you yeah. say? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> yeah. 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 You don't Stupid. Understand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what what would you say? Um. Yeah. Would you? So what's your take on this? Who leads, men or women? I feel like we should lead together. We're gonna lead together. So you think it's also fifty? Me and my man, we're gonna lead together. Yep. We're gonna do everything fifty fifty. All right. Okay. Cool. Ooh. All right. Uh. Should we play the video? Yeah, oh, video. Chats. Yeah, so... Um, super Chats. Okay, we'll read Super Chats. So we're going to read it out. Um, okay. $20. CF Gizzy. $20. Shout out to you cats for the fire content girl in white. Hell nah. I'm about, to, I'm about the girl to the left of her. Okay. Well, um, left of her, if you're looking this way, is yeah. this one. <laughs> Hennessy. So I'm guessing you. Mm-hmm. But then again, if you're looking this way, is that one. So you got to say what color, Which bro. One? Um, we don't Justin know. Lamar, fifty dollars yeah. fresh and fit to the moon. Thank you very much. To the moon. Mind world, fifty dollars. Love the show. Smasher pass tonight. Robbie, uh, PH fit. We are not doing Smasher pass tonight. <laughs> not my tonight. Friend. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Keith Simon, uh, twenty dollars. Yesterday's episode was complete madness. Red Lady has normalized branding men as grapists to the point that she's seen no issues declaring your channel teaches it. 
good on you for not letting her get away with it. Exactly. Yeah, if I can't. Frank Castle, there, bro. Like she would, she would be able to say, "Oh, I made a point, and they couldn't." And prove then they it. kick me off. Yeah, and they kick me out. You gotta, you gotta let her eat. You gotta let her sleep let in her, her own hang bed. Herself. Give her enough rope. Memo yep. Jama, twenty ninety nine. <laughs> now I know why she got kicked out of Saudi Arabia. Okay, <gasps> of course. Okay, we got also um, <laughs> Mercedes of Grace, twenty bucks. Myron, Chris, Trey, and Fresh in danger. She about make your her stable. Fresh, blink, blink three times if you're Join in danger. My stable. There you go. <laughs> Venom, <laughs> two, three, three, two, three. Puerto Rican queen face during debates. Be having me rolling. It's in your face. It's funny during debates. Uh, Lawrence Jane, fifty bucks. Shout out to Fresh and Fit fam. Smash or friend zone. Hey, bro, we're not we're not doing guys, that today, guys, bro. Guys, a quick announcement, man. <laughs> we are not doing Smash or Pass right now, guys. We're not going to be doing it probably until we re-release DMs on demand again. So, uh, please, we, we appreciate the support. Well, we may have one day where we do it. Okay. Because at least that one day, you guys can throw in there. Yeah. Yeah. So. If, oh, you want to say? Okay. You know what, Trey? You want to tell the people that real quick, bro? Go ahead. Trey got an announcement yeah. for you guys. If go you ahead, if you do this, no, no, no. Tell him, bro. Tell we'll, Trey. We'll, Trey, come on, man. We'll pick one day, Twitch guy. One day to do it. This nigga licking his lips still. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. So basically, we will do a Smasher Pass only if we get 100 yeah. subs. Yeah. Like, if you guys want a Smasher Pass, we'll do it only off of Twitch, though. No super chats on YouTube. No. We need. We'll we'll, we'll take one day to do Smasher Pass. Yeah, Not today, but we'll, we'll pick one day. Yeah, okay. One day. All right. Uh, 20 Robert, Robert M. M. Uh, Sup, fellas. No disrespect. Last night, fresh. Okay. Uh, oh, Morka, $20. Shorty next to Myron has a point. Just because you make decisions rashly doesn't mean you inherently have control over your emotions. Get your point across more coherently, mama, you babbling. <laughs> Wait, uh, just because you make decisions rashly doesn't... Hold on, let me read right, that back. Like... Just yeah. because you make decisions rationally doesn't mean you inher inherently have control over your emotions. Get your point across more coherently, mama, you babbling. Well, Morka, you're incorrect, bro. If you can make decisions based on ration rationale over emotions, that is absolute mastery of your emotions, bro. What are you talking about? Because yeah, if, if guys... Shit. You know, if guys were to be in their emotions, they would... Shoot, like, like, hold on. Let me, let me make this, this very is why clear. We need the balance. Hold on, hold on, ladies, no, ladies, ladies. <laughs> let me, let me just make this very clear for the viewers and for the ladies here. Emotion, utmost emotion, cannot coexist with utmost rationale. I'm gonna say that again, bro. Because <laughs> people are fucking dumb. Okay. <laughs> utmost rationale cannot coexist with utmost emotion. One has to give. They cannot coexist. Okay. Just like liberty cannot coexist with utmost security it's the same thing they contradict one e oneself well they contradict each other so for one to exist the other one must submit to some degree or be non-existent that's why i'm telling you guys if a man is rational by default of being rational he controls his emotions because his emotions do not take play into his decision making i need you guys to think critically and not be low iq here man yeah okay and also when guys don't control their emotions they are school shooters they go crazy because think about it yeah it's not in check so I if a guy's like, controlling his emotions, then he's not going to do that type of stuff. I feel like that's where the male-female balance comes to in check. You know, guys go towards ration and females go towards emotion. Yeah. So it's a balance. It's not that anyone's emotion is wrong, anyone's rational is wrong. It's balancing it out. We're knowing, like, you lack here, I lack here. Let's feed into it and build from there. Okay. Well, so she, like, that's she, why I feel like we need to be in partners or peers or whatever it is that works for your dynamic. We could take your, We could take your opinion for, for sure. But right. it's at the end of the day, it's still our decision. And then, you know, for men. I yeah. Agree. Like so, the thing, the thing is this, ladies, the world that you live in was built by men, not by women. And that's for a reason. That's not to say men are better than women. It's not to say women are better than men. We're just better at certain things. Men are creators. Men build. Men are deductive, objective problem solvers. Period. But that's why I said the left and right side of the brain come into play. Because for females, we're more spiritual. We're more emotionally. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to keep this concise. As opposed to what, the logic. When it, comes, when it comes to building and creating and making a society. That's a man's thing. That's it, exactly. A man's thing. Which, is, which is based agree. on logically sound decisions, not emotion. That's if a we went off of role. emotion, think about it. If we went off emotion, we'd be fighting all the time. Emotion you said something about my country. Emo we're coming emotion for you. Emotion is yes. for us to deal with. For when you come back with the emotion of someone that said, you said something about my country. It's for us to be like, you know what? Fuck that. You have a goal. Get to that goal. Like, you know, fuck Okay, we're going to we're going to move that. on. Okay. <laughs> we're just so, yo, hey, wait, wait, we got um, in the chat. The Quan <laughs> Wilshire. put up a super chat real quick, Chris. Yeah. Uh We got a boy the Quan in the building. Yo, we're going to set up a day when it comes to the podcast, man. It's going to be crazy. I don't know if people disagree with me, but it's like, man, like 
Yo, we read his channel earlier. The Quan yeah, was going crazy. Shout out to the Quan, bro. Uh, shout out to the Quan, man. Super chat, so we're going to uh, play this. Well, not play. Guys, we're going to show you a tweet from Kerry Hilson, by yeah. the way. Uh, we got, um, uh, no, no, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, no, that was responding to Omorka how he's incorrect. Uh, cool. Uh, e emotion and logic cannot coexist, guys. So period. The, the Quan the says, Shire, let's get the, the likes up, people. people. Shout out to you, brother. Appreciate that, Laquan. Cool. The Quan, uh, fr fresh hit you up earlier. You guys were talking, right? Yeah. Shout out to him. We're going to have him on the show, guys. Andre Parker, <laughs> take her cup from her. Otherwise, Frank Castle. Hello, hilarious. Okay. Um, okay, guys. So, um, we're going to show you guys a tweet. To, uh, shout out to Carrie Hilson, guys. I don't know if you guys know who she is. Um, Chris, can we maybe pull up her Wikipedia page too? Yeah, you sure. sing a so song, right? So there. the people know. Uh, yeah. Actually, oh no! Oh, you, you know Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. <laughs> Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Yeah, Carrie Hilson. <laughs> that was very. <beautiful. laughs> That was a fantastic singing. Thanks. Um, That's why I do not quit my daytime job. <laughs> uh, don't do so, it. Uh, I'll read this real quick just so you guys know who this is. So, Carrie Hilson, uh, oh, I got to get my glasses because I am blind on this one, unless fresh you got it. Is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, full court arranger, and actress. She was born and raised in Decatur, Georgia, and spent most of her youth working with producer Anthony Dent as a songwriter and background vocalist for several R&B and hip-hop artists. By the age of 14, Hilson had secured his record deal with the group, girl group D-Sing, I'm going to say that correctly? Hopefully so. A which later disbanded. She attended Oxford uh, College of Emory University in Georgia, while she continued writing songs for artists including Britney Spears, the Pussycat Dolls, and Mary J. Blige, with the production and songwriting team The Clutch. In, in, in 2006, Hilson signed with American rapper and producer Timbaland's record label, Mostly Music. Her breakthrough came in 2007 after appearing on Timbaland's single, The Way I Are. There's top charts around the world. Okay. So, um, and then we just read the first paragraph so you guys get an idea of who she is. Yeah. Um, I vividly remember the song, The Way I Are. I was in high yeah. school, senior in high school at the time. <laughs> and uh, that was back uh, in the late 2000, the late 2010s, I guess you would say, where um, Timbaland was on top. Justin Timberlake was hot. Uh, T.I. was on top. It was a very different world back then, guys. Um, and The Way I Are, it's actually kind of funny. If you guys listen to the lyrics, it is one of the most blue pill songs of all time. It mm. does not... It is not based in reality whatsoever. In the song, she basically says, hey, no matter how broke you are, whatever, I'm still going to hold you down, which is a fucking lie. Hilarious. But uh, go ahead and check it out, guys. I actually like the song, even though it's rooted in fallacies. But um, so that's who she is, guys. Um, you know, she that's that was her main hit. She taught the charts with that. And then I guess, what was the name of that song that you butchered? Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's her other song. That no, I think but I it's know crazy. About. Like, See, pretty girl rock. As, look, Pretty Girl Rock. Hey. It's just crazy, though, like, to, like, stop and think about it, though, because, like, the comments that she was making, like, in her song was, like, damn, like, you think that you were just on top of okay, the look. world and that. She good. wasn't. Look. And, and she, was, she not. was not. And she was not. I've and it's, seen her live. But she do was you not know it. how many look, women hear the, the song? It's roasting me. It's Decatur, okay? No, I didn't Decatur. know the... It's Decatur. Georgia. Decatur, Decatur, Georgia? Decatur. Oh, my bad. Decatur, Georgia. Someone's Decatur, there you go. Decatur, Decatur, Decatur? I don't, I don't want to say nothing. I was nothing, born in yeah, Decatur, I don't like, know from don't Barbados, bro. Decatur, yeah. like, from the islands, man. Yeah. God, give me a break, man. Yeah, Decatur. It's, it's, Decatur. I think, Fuck uh, the break. You think, uh, on here, baby. You ain't getting no break. <laughs> I think the Migos I think the Migos are from there, Decatur, Georgia. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and show this tweet real quick. So um, here's Carrie Hilson's um, Twitter account. Uh, can we enlarge that, Chris, please? Ooh. So I, well, I sent it recently. <laughs> so I got this from a million people, and I know they probably spam Trey with this too. So here's her tweet. Uh, and this was from what I think a day or two, two days ago. Okay, the shade so in the shade room. It. Coming through with a word about being submissive. Y'all feel her on this one? Hashtag roomie. She goes, quote, men who provide emotional security and display wise leadership will get the softest, most feminine, relaxed, trusting. Guard down, submissive, nurturing version of their woman. Period. Let me tell you something right now. That's fucking cap. Only because they can give it to you, and even when they give it to you, you still probably don't know how to how to be that. Oh, and shit. it's so. Like hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies, 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 reserve. We will give you a chance. That's good. To give that's good. Opinions. But hold on, hold on. But uh, I think she had another tweet. I just want to make sure I read everything so that we have a full idea. Then we're gonna go around the table. Got another one there. This yeah, arrow uh, to the right. Swipe to the right, Chris. There you go. Carrie Hilson again, even successful, strong women want to feel safe enough to be soft. That is our true nature. Then she follows up. The man who makes me feel safe will have the world. OK, so these are three of her tweets uh, pretty much working in tandem with each other. Uh, and Chris, can we keep uh, keep the quote up just on the side so uh, we can reference it whenever needed? Um, so we'll start with uh, over here. What's your take on it? Agree, disagree, uh, points of contention, whatever, maybe. 
Well, I feel like merch. um merch. Which, to which um to which tweet? Which one? The first one? The first one. The first one. Yeah, I mean, or all three in and t- together in, in tandem, or would you want to do it? Just tackle one of them. What's your thoughts on this? This we'll one. show it again. Yeah, men who will provide. This was the main one. Yeah, that, yeah, that one. Men who provide emotional security and display wise leadership will get the softest most. Well, I honestly feel like that's true because, mm-hmm. like, me, I'm a type of person. You have to show me that, like, I'm very lovey dovey. So he has to show me that he's lovey dovey with me. So in order to be that way, we have to just trust each other. Like, okay, all right. So I, I guess you're sticking to your guns that um, submissiveness is submission is conditional. Yes. I okay. feel like it though. Okay. So it is not enough that you chose him to meet up on a date or hang out or whatever. He has to continue to prove himself even within meeting you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I personally agree. I actually reposted that tweet okay. literally mm-hmm. two okay. days ago. But um, like I actually referenced it when I said wise leadership. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay. I, I feel like. When I first meet you, when we first decide to go on a date, how am I supposed to know what you can offer me? Mm-hmm. When I literally just saw a picture on Tinder or your profile on Instagram, how am I supposed to know exactly, you know, because based off what you provide is from how you were raised. If you were a mama's boy, were you raised by two parents? Like it all depends on how you were raised. So how am I supposed to know all of that until I actually get to date you, get to know you? That mm-hmm. is why I feel like it is conditional for me. I have to, you have to prove it to me. Wise leadership. That's the biggest thing Trust. for me. Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay. What's going on? Go ahead, give your take now. Like, look, I know. So, all right. I clearly, not clearly, I have been in situations where I feel like, um, Trish next door. <laughs> I definitely feel like I don't give. Oh, God. Can we rewind this question? Say it. Just say it. Just do no, it. I got you. We no, can, re- we can repeat. I got you. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got it. The question Remember, is, do you agree with her or not on her statements? And the quote, and let's, Chris, and, Chris, please keep it up the whole time. And the quote, Just keep it up on the side. The Have, quote reads, men who provide emotional security and display a wise leadership will get the softest, most feminine, relaxed, trusting, guard down, submissive, nurturing version of their woman. Is it true or not? Right. And then Chris, go ahead when they're re- just like minimize that side. Like you don't have to minimize it, but just like it, it lets you do it's where it's like one side dominates the other. Side. Oh. Exactly. Or yeah. Or you can move that one to the other side. But go ahead, continue. All right. Just so it's always there, so they can see it. Stupid. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> trying to help somebody out. <laughs> no, for sure. Like okay. So in this situation, I know that like I can say like yes, this is how it sure. should be, but this is not how it is. I'm going to tell you right now. Like I have had a man in front of me that provides you know like emotional security he's there and whatever and i still was not able to give him this guard down woman i wasn't able to submit to him but he was giving me everything that i needed in order for me to submit to him so i i feel like i take that on like that's personally a problem like i gotta fucking deal with i gotta go like in the shower and cry about and shit so it is what it is like when men deserve it is it always given? No. Oh, okay. And do women always actually give it when it's deserved? Absolutely no. not. Like, yo, like he deserves for you to submit to him. He deserves for you to be this woman for him and you can't be it. He's going to move on. And then when you move, when he moves on, you're going to be like, can, can, I, no, I want you. you. Like, I love you. Like, yo, it, yo, yo, it's like that. So you look. obviously didn't want to submit for a reason, though. Why didn't you like? And it's not on you to teach him what that reason is. Also, I now regret not submitting. So that's like something I, like I said, I'm personally dealing with. Um, I did want to submit. I, I, I didn't want to submit, and now that I don't have it, I want to submit. I want to be like, hey, I'm sorry. Can you hit me back up? Like, can you, like, <laughs> hey, Papa, I know you're like, if you're watching, <laughs> but <laughs> no, on some real shit. Like, it's like he gave me everything that I feel like I. I want out of a relationship like it it was there but because I wanted to be dominant I wanted to be strong I don't need you I don't want you whatever the situation is I pushed it off to the side and now I am where I'm at so it is what it is (laughs) I want to hold on one second bro hold on hold on hey I got a clap no like nobody gets a clap out this bitch (laughs) yeah we rarely give it out and and I want to say it because but during the past week right 
a round of applause for Good sure. Job. During the past week, one of the questions we've asked women is, hey, in your last relationship, can you point to one thing that led to the demise of your relationship that you contributed to? Every single time, the girl immediately let off with saying the guy fucked it up was him. and would refuse yeah. to say what she did wrong. And we had to consistently ask he her was... two or three times, please tell us what you did to fuck up. And the fact that you did it unprompted without us even having to say anything, that's taking like accountability, which is rare. Yep. No offense to women, but and we've been at this point, we've interviewed hundreds of women. Yeah. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but one thing I've learned is a lot of women are allergic to that word accountability, baby. Like they don't like to admit their faults. And look, you were right. Yeah. So, Girls don't want to submit. Even when all the cards are laid out, is a perfect guy. Sometimes like, yo, I'm not ready for it. And I get it. But if, if the they guy's there, it, it, not, it, it, accountability that they're not ready for that. Yeah. So yeah. like for me, like, yeah, anyways. <laughs> so you have like a lot of regret, you would say? Um, regret for sure. Yeah. But I'm 23 years old. So right, you're so young. Growing, I'm loving. I'm I'm growing. Girl, a lesson. Right. Of it's course. A but like this is like where women should take accountability. Learn not the man is not always trying to be like you know like the aggressor the like i i need to run this i need to be it's not always like that sometimes like and a lot of the times you have to realize that these women come from homes that are broken they don't they don't have a dad they don't have that father figure they don't have any of that so of course they're going to go for what they know type of thing mm -hmm. but um when you learn in life this is something my mom brought me aside and talked to me about um it was I taught you everything that I knew. So, you know, I taught you, you go for what you know type of thing, but not everything I taught you was right. Now that she is a woman that is married, that is a lover, that is a, a caretaker, that can do everything that she can do now, she wasn't able to give me that when we were growing, when I was growing up. Right. So, you know, you, you learn, you're like, oh, like, you know, she taught me some things, like, that wasn't right, that wasn't it, but like, you know, it is what it is. No, that's <laughs> and, my respect, um, my respect. And, you know, I don't uh, here's the thing. I don't want to poison other girls opinions, but I have something that I want to discuss, uh, you know, after the ladies give their opinions. And I'll kind of we'll talk. We'll break that down a little bit more. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh, thank you for being honest. Thanks about for being that. open we, about we, it. Yeah. We, we really appreciate that. Yeah, I real. think, uh, you know, it's one thing when we tell women that you need to f fix this, but to have a, a woman say and like, listen, man. Yeah. And at I'm, your got, age. Yeah. And at your yeah. age, fortunately for you, I'll you, tell you this. You got time. No, we, we not, had, not a lot of yeah. time, but you got some, you, you got you some got time. time yeah. I'll tell you this. You know, by the time she's 30, she's done work through everything. And it's yeah. like, I know yeah. what I want. I know I'm ready. Like, Here's the thing, give. though. We, we had a, but you can't expect a man to give you what you, you don't feel know you want. like you like you deserve. You have Do you to know, know you want. deserve it? Are you like, are you are you ready for it? Do you want it? Is it there? Like, that's like it all goes into place. So, yeah. 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 No, I mean, yeah. um. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I think we got you for somebody being, here too. Because uh, I'll tell you this: luckily, you're still young. We had a, uh, we had two women on the came thirty-five on the year show. old. Uh, both of them were thirty-five, and uh, uh, one broke down crying. One broke down crying, and and the I sad part cry on shit because I'm a gangster bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the difference though, with that her, she was, it's it's over. It's over. She's thirty-five. Like, it's almost. It's pretty much. And yeah. that's the show. If a woman is unmarried by the time she's thirty-five, yeah, it, there's a very high likelihood, somewhere around ninety percent, it's a wrap. that she ain't gonna be able to get married for the most right. part. So. So the, the beauty here is that at least you're learning it while you're still young. So let's move on. Um, what's on. your take on uh, Chris? Could, could you bring up the one that twenty four ninety nine? So uh, basically, they're saying Seth Blader for the honesty, honest self reflection. Congrats and mad respect. Thank you, Seth Blader. Oh. Appreciate that. Yep. Um, and Versi, then, fifty bucks. Versi, um, uh, Lady, Lady and Pink. Pink. Marriage is in your future. Much respect. There you go. There you go. Oh. Uh, oh. And then accountability party for human rights. Sister with the braids fully embraces awareness, acceptance, and uh, adapt adaptability. Uh, she can join the accountability, accountability party. party. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, and then funny. um, that's uh, it. Yeah, okay, let's move uh over to uh Miss Russia part two. Um, yeah. uh, so what is your take on it? Um, do you agree? Can we pull up that tweet again, Chris? Yeah, sure. Uh, I actually also Hilson? saw this tweet. Um, oh, you did okay. yesterday. Maybe I reposted it too. But um, I will have to agree with it because I also believe in this. Uh, phrase that says different people bring out different versions of you, mm -hmm. not in the sense that you like completely different person every every time you're with different people but it's just sometimes you can be softer and more emotional with some people sometimes you're more like fun and tough or whatever with other people and i've had that in my experience like for example with guys i've dated this guy and i was like i'm more like independent person and i was more like you know closed off my guard was up and it was fun but it was not what i wanted so until i met this other man and 
um it was he was more like nurturing more like older and a leader i guess mm. and he was he just made me open open a different side of me let's say that and i was a completely different person like i've never been that person before yeah so i think um the tweet was correct and i agree with that from your personal experience yeah from my personal experience okay. so you also agree in conditional femininity i think so on the yeah. man okay cool Okay. Harmony. So, yo. So first and foremost, I want to say that in order for I agree with this tweet 110 percent but in order for me to agree with this tweet, two things have to be um true. One is that it doesn't matter who it is, you have to want that person. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if the guy's giving you all of this. If this is not the right person, then it just wouldn't matter. The second thing is you have to be ready like yourself. You have to be whole. You have to love yourself. You have to make sure that you know that you're able to do all of these things and then it will come naturally. So other than that, yeah, I agree with her tweet. Okay. Okay. Conditional femininity. Okay. Yeah. I agree with that tweet definitely too. And I saw it like in a bunch of stories, um, probably like yesterday, but um, emotional security, I think it's like the most important one because um, all of us women were super emotional and um how to say can you before you continue can you tell us what emotional security is so the audience knows what you're talking about because like i've never uh, i've never heard that term before like it's a kind of ambiguous term so what does that what does that mean exactly so people understand what you're trying to say okay um okay so when you see that your wife or your girlfriend like super like goes super emotional she's like super sad or anything or you got into a fight or something um for me it's like you should be a man and you should understand that um oh my god women are emotional (laughs) yes women are emotional (laughs) yes and like you shouldn't like shout at her or anything like you know don't make it like a big deal out of it that you're supposed like, to give it and then like they're supposed to just take it to listen no, 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 no. i guess listen at understand. some point yeah but like you cannot like fight when you're emotional there is no right decisions like there is nothing gonna go right when you're emotional when mm, you're fighting sounds similar to something said earlier so basically yeah when you're like in a fight or something it's like better like to tell her like just to calm down like to give like each other like i don't know like 15 minutes or something to calm down and like that's it because like don't i don't even know how to explain this (laughs) 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 okay um i i i'll I'll say it (laughs) Uh, yeah i guess (laughs) this is what i'll do i'll I'll try to say what you're trying to say and you tell me if i'm right so what you're saying is is that men need to contain their emotions despite their woman having an outpouring of emotions regardless of what her emotions are making uh, happen for example she's emotional and angry she starts throwing pots and pans at you you decide nope Contain your emotions. Don't yell at her back or anything like that. You stay stoic and emotionless. Is that what you're saying? Or are you saying maybe not on that level, but it's like when she cries, you should be a backbone and support. Use logic. Where where are we here in this? I think it's just to be in a support. And mm. I think it's the emotional space. You have to provide a safe space for someone to be. I don't know. If I start throwing pots and pans at people and they don't fucking they don't throw back. Like, like, if I throw pots and pans my mom back, always I go to said, jail, She so. literally always said, you put, like, it's never okay for a man to put their hands on you. But the moment you put your hands on a man yeah. and he hits you back, do not be, <laughs> oh, he hit me. I can't believe. Like, nah, fuck that shit, bitch. You, wanna get, you wanted to hit a man, <laughs> get hit like a man type shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'm just trying to understand Miss Rush's, like, uh, <laughs> thing here. Because, like, th- obviously, there's, a, there's that's why I gave two spectrums. There's the high spectrum where she's assaulting you because she's mad right and you're like taking it and like hey trying to defuse the situation or like she just wants to cry to you about work and you should just be a soft ear to listen no it depends on situation like i'm not saying um so not extreme where a guy shouldn't like uh accept a woman like throwing shit at him or whatever no, no, not no, that extreme no, no. okay but definitely at least at the level where she's accepting he he's um uh, making her feel more comfortable and allowing her to be vulnerable 
Yes. Okay. okay. Cool. That just took like. Yeah. Minutes. Hey guys, uh, if anyone is wants to be a Russian translator, let us know. Yeah. We're hiring ding, ding, Russian ding, linguists. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Uh, I got you. So, what's your take on? So, so you agree as well that it's it's uh can you you agree with Carrie Hilson mm -hmm. that that she's gonna you women should be feminine based on the man, conditional femininity is what we'll call it. I'd say so. Okay. Feminine. Fair enough. Uh, what about um? What Miss, about you, Miss Saudi? What's your take on this? So Can we pull up that tweet one more time, Chris, please. Yeah, I'm an alpha submissive. So keep it short. What does I, that mean? I I do <laughs> believe that you do have to be an alpha male to get my submissive side, or I'm gonna walk all over you. Mm. But like for Carrie Washington, like she was dating an African man, <laughs> Washington. Washington. but coming out of a breakup with an African man when she made this statement. And I truly believe that American women do not really grasp the concept of what it is to have a man and being submissive. Mm -hmm. So it's like she learned that from him and was able to come out and come out of that relationship and, you know, evolve from that. And that's where she feels now. And it makes complete sense to me. You know, I'm not going to submit to everyone that, you know, makes me come or eats me out or whatever. <laughs> you know, you need to be able to prove to me that you're someone that can provide something that I can't provide for myself in a place that I'm lacking for myself and my lifestyle. And, you know, and I need to feel comfortable that, you know, you're not going to use that to take advantage of me. And in return, I'll give you emotional security. So I completely agree with her. What is that emotional security again? So emotional security is because she said able, it as well. But to me, emotional security is being able to be vulnerable to open up and be vulnerable like these are my deepest darkest deepest darkest secrets and these are the things that i really haven't worked over as an adult and i'm and i'm telling you <laughs> so i'm down for a dvp not gangbang i like the hold concept on. dvp and i like the concept orgy wait wait no hold on bang. we got to make sure we have not this train. correct what, you, are you talking about he you you're being emotionally secure as in he can be vulnerable to you both or is that, are you talking about the other way both ways we both need ways. to be vulnerable uh -huh. both ways but for me to be, I'm talking about for what it takes for me to be vulnerable to someone, to an alpha okay, okay, okay. male, as an office, alpha, alpha submissive female. Yeah. You know, it takes me being an able to be like... alpha submissive female? Yeah. It well, takes, I'm a smart it, retard. Well, I'm an alpha submissive female that has I'm a smart retard. taught kids in special classes, so we can probably communicate. But <laughs> for me, it's like, it, it's like it, it, it takes, you know... Me being able to be like, I'm vulnerable. These are the things that I lack. These are my weaknesses. These are things that scare me. And you're not going to use that to take advantage of me. You're not going to use that to have a hold of me. I'm going to have a safe space with you. Okay. And that's so really similar to what Miss what, what okay. Russia was saying, right. a place where you can be vulnerable, uh, at least one way with you being vulnerable to yeah, him. Yeah, once okay. I know that I have that, I'll submit, you know? Okay. okay. I, I just had to poke fun at the alpha submissiveness. I would... <laughs> that... that <laughs> Because I'm an alpha unless you get me to submit. Well, you know what? I'm the smartest, stupidest guy in the room. So, uh, <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I'm so confused. Did we just enter a porno? No, sir. We are somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, we have entered Here. woman's world. Okay. Yeah. So, alpha uh, submissive. That's ding, the first. Ding, that's ding, the first. Ding, ding. So, um, okay. So, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'll read these super chats real quick. Fresh, give your take. And then I have something that I want to talk about here in a second. Um, Cody Lexer, men aren't projects, we're people, and we want you to treat us like it. Okay, thank you, Cody Lexer. Robert M., please tell mods to ease up. They sensitive, sensitive. My little sis, tougher. Hey, listen, mods, uh, uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, if, if you troll in the chat, you will get banned or timed out. Robert right? M., so, the mods are vetted, so if you're doing something retarded, they're going <laughs> to ban you, bro, so you, chill so. out. Yeah, they, they, uh, yeah, our mods know what they're doing, guys, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? They, they rule with the iron fist, because here's the thing. You can't let people get out of pocket in the chat, because then it just builds a you know a domino effect of stupidity um bond uh 20 dollars emotional security is bs that just means they want men to let them do whatever they want without any consequence just another way to divert responsibilities for themselves also no. care single as fuck why take her advice <laughs> check well, me bond, check me well, 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 and i'll submit well hold on hold on remember that he he probably super chatted this earlier okay so that's why i had to clarify with miss russia to what extent are we talking about emotional security? You're throwing pots and pans at him and no. he should take that? Or are we talking Don't let like, me be stupid outside. No, yeah. Don't let me make myself look stupid. Like, check okay. me. Okay. If you need to grab me and shake me, grab me and shake me. It is what it is. But that's really what it like is. That. I'm an emotional uh, okay. being. Hold on. We, 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 we will address that in a second. We, yeah. we'll, addre we'll address that in a second. Anything else, Chris? Are we good? Caught up? Fresh, what's cool. your take on this? So, honestly, Carrie Olson, 
you know, she's definitely a famous singer. You know, so, you know, a lot of women look up to her. But at the same time, you got to understand where she's coming from, right? So I'll say this. If you want emotional security Make in a man, quick. you want to have that man kind of like uh, open up to you. I understand. However, let's be real here. If a man opens up to you on a certain level, it might turn you off. And we're just telling guys at this point, if you open up to a girl, who's to say what that level is? But like, for example, if he could say to you, say, you know what? Yeah, I love you. You're my girl, whatever. But, uh, you know, I may not be able to pay rent, rent this month. That is an extreme that you might you might not like. Deep down, you may say, you know what? I got you, baby. Don't worry about it. But deep down, you're like, damn, my nigga can't even hold his own. So I'm just saying, like, emotional um, security in men, it shouldn't be like him expressing feelings to you. It should be like, you know what? This problem came up. I got you. Don't worry about it. We're going to go take a vacation. Or, you know, babe, I got this. Don't, don't worry about it. I got you. So I would just say for, for men, being emotionally secure with a girl, uh, don't tell her your problems. Just solve the problem. Fix it, and then from there, you know what I'm saying, treat your girl right. Please don't right. even like make that like a man or a woman thing, but that's like 100 yeah. percent like a human thing. Yeah. yeah, like when you right. react, sometimes you tell people your issues, your problems. You're just talking. You need to like revert yourself and realize like tomorrow when you feel a different way, when you go back to that person that you were talking cash shit about, whatever the situation is, it's like how do they believe you? How are they even able to like know? Like, if you're real or not, when you're like, oh, I hate him, da, 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 or I hate her, fuck that bitch. And then the next day, you're with her, and he's like, didn't you just say that you hated that bitch? <laughs> and they're like, you know, it's vice versa. And for women, I definitely feel like it's, I, as a woman, I'm going to say, this is definitely something that we do. Fuck mm -hmm. that nigga. We going to fucking da 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 I'm going to run it off, and we good. Mm -hmm. And then... When my heart is settled and I'm I'm eased and I'm like, when that's it, you know, I'm like, I love you, bitch. <laughs> I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. And it's like that's like a, a human thing, not just men or women. Like that's a something. Please it goes, it goes take with both it. Ways. Yes, take it. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. But the security part is providing the space. So if a man, which sometimes is true, that a man sometimes. Maybe you have a death in the family, stuff like that. Sometimes you need to cry as a man. Like, we're not about to sit here and act like humans Men aren't human. Yes. Like, but providing the security is not brushing it off like, damn, you a man. Why are you crying? Like, that's not providing the but emotional security. a man security. can go to his boys and say, yo, this happened. Do it there. But why do it in front of you? Because He's he loves. Because that's my partner. Response. As a partner, yeah, that's see, supposed to see, feel. Do you cry in front of a woman? No, never. Never. Not even, so not even my mom. Homeboy? Really? Like mom. No. That's so, crazy. so get this, right? If I got problems at, at the house or some some crazy going on, <laughs> this say, is your wife you're talking about. This is somebody huh? that I, I, you clearly don't have a wife. But this is I'm supposed to be her rock. Okay. If a rock is sweating bullets, then what kind of rock is that? I'm just saying. Look, if I got problems to deal with, I'm gonna have that on my own with my boys, right? My mentor, somebody like that. My girl, hey. Uh, good vibes, good times. You know, things might be rocky, but I got it. Don't worry about it. So you're not going to really be you feel submissive like that emotionally to your girl. No, so you're I'm not going to be emotionally jeopardize, engaged with your guys, Jeopardize my, my position with her. To, with her over my feelings or what's going on. I'm going to solve not? the issue. Why not bring your feelings to her? Because like, you know where your feelings get you no, no, no. Like in a hole. It's it's telling it's just, your feelings no, no, hold on, hold on, when hold on, they're not on. real. I'm talking, I'm talking. It's a very, I want to say... Slippery slope. Yeah, because you don't know how far is too far? You don't you might, want to be vulnerable to your partner. No, you might say, yeah, go, go, go talk to you. Far. I'm talking. I'm listening. Go We're talk to you, right? And then, okay, you might say, go talk to you, whatever, about my problems, whatever. I do that, but deep down is like, yo, damn, this nigga really can't handle this problem? This is turning me off. Then that's not your girl. Please, one no, mic at a time. Let him finish his point. But, Let him finish his point, see, and then you can, you can that might be That might be you, but that's not going to be every single girl. I'm just saying, to avoid losing your girl, just keep it, keep it G. Look, this problem came up. I'm gonna solve this issue. Go to my girl. Yo, you know what? This came up, whatever. Boom, it's solved though. We're going here. Like, my thing is don't don't put yourself, uh, don't open up the door for like things to like um, make her second guess your Pandora's box. You, how to put this? Don't open up the door to make her second guess you as a man because why would you do that? Yeah. Why? Yep. What's your take? Go ahead. Just one mic at a time, ladies. Like, it's really bad radio et yeah. etiquette. Like, obviously, we're here speaking to each other, and it sounds like a conversation. But when you're doing a podcast, it's not a conversation. It's one mic at a time. Then they make their point. Then you can make your point. Go ahead. No, I get it. It's like, if you want us to be submissive to you, you have to be vulnerable back to us emotionally. 
It's like, what are we submitting to you if we're not getting all of you? Why would I give you all of me? Okay. But I get your point too, where it's like there are a lot of girls that will take those points that you're being vulnerable with and use that against you, which is where guys stop being open and vulnerable towards females. So I get it. I get it. But it's a partnership. It has to go both ways. So if you can't do that with the person, that's not the person for you. And that's where dating and courting comes into play, where we need to date people. We need to court people. We need to take people outside of their regular environment into environments that you're comfortable in and see how they react before we decide to be vulnerable. But once we get to that point where I'm your person, and I want you to submit to me, you're able to be emotionally available. Okay. Ladies, I'm going to make a point. It's going to offend you. You guys are not going to like it, but I need you guys to not cut me off when I'm going to say this. And then you guys are going to leave it open to however you guys feel like, but I'm going to give you another perspective. Okay. So I've been listening very closely to everything you guys have been saying. So the topic at hand, what I'm going to discuss is conditional submission. I need a man to re rise to a certain level that I've picked, by the way, to date me, to rise to a certain level for me, him to unlock my femininity, right? Like, so we're playing Zelda here. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's go into a dream world, okay? I need you guys to close your eyes and imagine. All right? <laughs> we're at a nightclub. She, like, she, like, right? she closed her eyes. Yeah, I need you guys to really visualize this, okay? Like, really, like, think, think it over. We go at a nightclub, right? And I walk up to you. I'm your type. I'm good looking, right? Maybe not at this point. You guys probably are triggered from my opinions. But, you know, I might be your type right there. Tall, wearing whatever you like, whatever whatever avatar of man that you like. Pretend that's me for two seconds, right? And you're like, damn. Oh, my God, girl. He's coming to me. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. I, I think he's going to come talk to me. Holy shit. He's my type. Oh, girl. Yeah, yeah. And your girl's nudging you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming. He's coming. He's going to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then I walk up it's to you, me. right? It, I walk up to you and I smile. And you're like. Yes, he's gonna he's gonna ask me for he's gonna ask me for my number. I can't wait. I've been late for two weeks. I can't wait. And then I go, Oh my god, I love your shoes. Oh my god, I love your heels. Oh my god, you look so fantastic. Where'd you get those shoes? Are those Jimmy shoes? I got them too. Oh my god, I got a bag that will match perfectly with that. Blah blah blah. Right? This conversation goes on for a bit. Maybe I told you about how I wax my nuts. Maybe I told you about how I'm spiritual and I do organic healing maybe i told you i've been to russia before and i love it right and then i go ahead and say would you like to go on a date with me i'd love to take you out sometime oh my god you're beautiful what would be your response we're going to start with here just give me a yes or no would you go out with me i love you i would like to put you in my fan club nope okay no we would not be going out <laughs> i don't think so no nope nope that man is gay. Nope. <laughs> Let's be real. Nope. No. Nope. <clears throat> I will say yes. Oh. Okay, you will take me out. Yep, I'll take you out because I didn't know. I was assuming the whole time, you know, it was just you were judging from your, the book. You didn't okay. know who the person was. You feel me? So I'm going to give you a chance. I'm going to take you out. I'm, we're going to go be friends. Okay. We're going to okay. be friends. Okay. <laughs> my but you know friend. it's a friend but, but, but and so not like remember. you want to fuck him. Yeah, though. that's the yeah, point. Yeah, not like that. We could be friends. So, so like, nope. Hang out. Okay, so you're going to friend I'll give it a so, chance. Yeah. Okay, so so that's a no. Nope. Yeah. In man world, that's a waste of our time to go out with a girl as a friend. Uh, I, like, real talk, ladies, I got to give you guys the truth. Yeah. Men no don't give a fuck about wanna... being your friend. Oh. So you're basically saying the the you're basically saying the man was gay. No, no, no. He's not gay. As a matter of fact, I got to add on to the story. You guys automatically said no. But what if I say, you're like, well, you know what? I don't want to date you. And I was like, no, no, baby girl, don't, don't worry about it. I, I'm masculine when I meet a feminine woman. Are, are you feminine? Oh, now it sounds retarded, doesn't it? Yeah, now I'm telling you, I'm conditionally masculine <laughs> based on the woman being feminine. You see how asinine your argument is? I Here's the problem. Let, let me butt. please finish. I even said in the beginning, don't cut me off. Sorry. This is the world we live in, ladies, where a man's roles are static. You are expected to be masculine at all times. Whereas a woman's roles are negotiable. You can be a lady when you fucking feel like it. And here's the thing. You know who loses? You lose. Because when you're not naturally feminine and you have this masculine energy, let me tell y'all son about men that you guys want. They have options. 
Why am I going to deal with this crass, annoying, rude, obnoxious, masculine woman that's trying to compete with me when, when I, I can go so. get a naturally submissive, attractive woman that's going to follow my lead and want peace, not a competitor or a co-partnership? They want the lead. This tweet, Harry Hilson, and I'm actually very happy that all of you were familiar with this tweet because it goes to speak volumes about modern day women today. Modern day women today follow women like this that don't know what the hell they're talking about because her saying I'm conditionally feminine is like me going up to you wearing a dress and heel saying I'm conditionally masculine until I meet a girl that is feminine. That is a retarded concept, but we allow women to walk around with this backwards mindset, but men are never allowed to have this, right? No, that's so bad. by your logic, that's exactly what's going on. Now, this goes to a deeper rooted problem that you alluded to earlier. We live in a world now where women are taught from a young age that acting like a man, being strong and independent, and having your own and 50-50 partnerships is what men want. It is not what men want. And as a matter of fact, the stats back it. We have the highest divorce rates we've ever had. We have the lowest marriage rates we've ever had. And 80% of divorces are initiated by women. You also realize that the, there are also 90% um, of like marriages are pushed on by women, not men. Yeah. Like, like so, the women so, are the ones that exactly. I, I'm agreeing And then they you. initiate the, the, the divorce. So who like, so, so what I'm trying to say is, is that we have clear cut black and white data that shows that 50, 50 partnerships don't work. We have clear cut data that as women have become more liberated and by virtue become more masculine and become more, how do I say this, independent, marriages have suffered as a result and we have more single women than ever before. And on top of that, we have the lowest approval ratings of life from women. As women have gotten more rights, they've been less and less happy. One in four women walks around doped up on uh, anti-depression medication and anxiety medication. Yep. So who's really losing? It ain't the men. I'll tell you all this because what's happening is this. The men that the women are fighting for, they see what's going on. Yo, these chicks are masculine. These girls are ratchet. These girls are promiscuous. I ain't wifing none of them. I'm going to just fuck and be good. Now, they that's good. okay for you, ladies. All right, All right, so cool. where were we? Yep, cool. All right, we good? Yep, we good. What was the last thing they heard say? That, the last statement. Which was what as, as the divorce rates? Yep, yeah, divorce rates. All right, so basically what's happened is, and I'll repeat real fast for those guys. Sorry, the uh, internet messed up right there. So as women have become more liberated, their approval ratings of life have come down with it. One in four women is on anti-depression medication and the least happy demographic of human being in the United States right now, ladies, but with empirical studies, is a woman that's 42 years old, unmarried, with no children. That is a byproduct of what happens when you're a strong, independent woman. Men aren't going to tolerate your strong independency. They're just not going to deal with you. They're going to have sex with you, but they ain't going to take you seriously. So if you want commitment from a man, you need to understand and know your role. Men lead, women follow. And as a matter of fact, you guys proved my point. A couple of you guys said 50-50 partnerships or I ran the last relationship. Where's the boyfriend now? Well, shit, look. My mom Bruh. literally, like, as a single mom, raised me, did everything, and, like, where she's at now, and she's married, a lover, a carer, and she's like, yo, like, like I said earlier, it's not always what you're taught, y'all. Like, I get it. We grow up. We're supposed to be independent women. We we have this fucking, like, this stigma, like, this is what it is. This is what you're supposed to do. No, baby girl. It's not. So, I have a quick question Just here. to finish up. Just to finish yeah. up. Yeah. So, all I'm saying is when I put it on the shoe on the other foot and I gave you guys, I, I used your same exact logic. 100%. I'm going to be conditionally masculine. It sounded stupid. 100%. So you can't expect men. Here's the difference. Men are never going to tell women this because if you say things like this, you get canceled. You get called the massages. Mm -hmm. You get called the asshole. Mm -hmm. Telling the women like truth you. comes. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. You get banned off TikTok. Like, yo, I to say guys, 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 let me fucking finish, man. Mm -hmm. So saying things like this comes with serious consequences where you get canceled, you lose your livelihood, you get labeled terrible terms, rapey, misogynistic, whatever, with no proof. So if I got to speak for the tens of thousands of men out there that Indeed. feel this way, but can't say it because if you challenge a woman's independence, it's considered misogynistic, then so be it. I'll say it. But what I will say is the more masculine you are, or the more you adopt this stupid mindset of conditional femininity, 
the more men are not going to take you seriously and go to a girl that will give them. You mentioned earlier something very alarming. You mentioned, I want a guy to put me in my place and be an alpha male and damn near shake me. <laughs> here's my thing. And here's the thing. I applaud you for being honest because a lot of women think that way. But here's the reality. Why should a man Have damn to near that. go to jail to get you in line? Why should he do that? He shouldn't have to. Like, wh why should he have to get to? Why is a woman's masculinity here? And he's got to rise to damn near murdering you to be able to get you in line. He puts himself in jeopardy. He puts you in jeopardy. And I'll tell you guys another uncomfortable reality. Let's look at the justice system. Men serve 66% more time for the same crimes that women commit. Men are far more likely to be arrested if police show up as a, a domestic call abuse. So why are men of value that have something to lose going to sit there and try to tame some girl that's untamable that wants her to that wants him to damn near assault her <laughs> why we're just gonna go with the girl that gives us peace 100 percent. so with that said ladies it's up to you what you guys want to do but this mindset of conditional femininity will keep you single for a long period of time and you're not going to notice it until it's too too late in your 30s Opinion. so it is what it is man that's my point so real quick ladies question for you do you know what men really want and you can't use sex so we'll start here I don't know what men really want, but what I can say is everything you said made complete sense. Yeah, if you guys want to like chime in like, on what I said, in, go ahead. In, yeah, that's fine in, in the dynamic that we're living in, not having to deal with fuckboys meant us having to deal with all of the things that we want men to do for us. So it's like we became more masculine than we should have been. We shouldn't be as masculine as we should be right now. But we are because we're at a position where we have to provide security. We have to provide financially for ourselves. We have to provide emotionally for ourselves. And that's why I say for me, it takes a real alpha man to deal with me to, to understand that I'm in a position that I've had to provide all of this for myself for the last, let's say, 10 years. I got a question for you after I'm you're done. Don't finish. Now. I got a question after you're done. Yeah, because I'm in my 30s now. So it's like the last 10 years, I provided this for myself because I didn't want to deal with fuck shit. Okay. You know, and it's like, I'm not saying there aren't real men out there. There are real men out there. I've met a lot of real men and I love men and I love loving on men. And I love being able to give emotional Catering. security okay. to men. Like, I love it. Okay. You know, so I don't tear down men. Okay. But at the end of the day, for me to be able to provide what I need for myself, I had to depend on myself. So we're overly 20. masculinized at this point and we shouldn't be okay so i have a question and that's for you. why i feel like you that's what you were saying and it's like you guys go for the more feminine people and those girls end up being the more younger girls the more naive girls at the end of the day yeah, i would say i would not say really. not naive being naive a submission is a choice it, it is. is not it is not naive it is a choice because you understand your position as a woman that you are incapable of leading a man, so therefore you submit to his authority by choice. It's not by naive, uh, being naive right. or coercion. And I want to say this real quick. So basically <laughs> what you're saying, just so I understand this, is you're a product of your environment and you are masculine because of that. Okay, yes. let's use that same logic again. I grew up in Harlem, New York. No parent, no, da no dad. My mom's a single mom on welfare, right? It was tough. <sighs> Poor. I end up selling drugs to make ends meet. Some real life shit. Okay. I end up selling drugs to make life meet, uh, to make ends meet, whatever it is. I'm a product of my environment. The cops arrest me. Can I tell the police officers, listen, man, cut me some slack. I'm a product of my environment. No. It's tough out here. I, got I have to sell to this do dope to make money. No, the cop would literally look at me, say, listen, bro, uh, stupid. We actually got this info from that guy that said that, stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we found out that you were selling drugs. And now we're here to give you consequences for your poor decisions. Your product, being a product of your environment is not an excuse to have certain behavior. If you choose to be this way, that's your choice. But you got to lay in your bed when you make it. And I agree with that. So True. what I'm saying is that it's okay that you're naturally masculine from your experiences and your trials and your tribulations. And you had to be this way. But that does not mean that a man has to accept you for how you are at all. And as a matter of fact, we live in a world now where women expect men to accept them regardless of their bad behavior, regardless of their rudeness, regardless of their weight, regardless of the way they dress, regardless of their attitude. And I'm here to tell y'all, fuck no. You have to perform just like men do. Just like men have to get in the gym and exercise, get, make their, get their money up, become better men. Women have to perform too. But we live in a world where women basically can dictate all the terms with zero burden of performance on themselves. So it's okay. In America. That, 
I mean, in the West, American society, but yeah. in, in the West in general, women tend to be a little bit more masculine. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make is I can't sell drugs, make money off of it, get arrested, tell the police, hey, man, I'm a product of my environment. Don't put me in jail and because by me dealing drugs, I knew this was not the right way to go about things. So I have to deal with the consequences mm -hmm. of my decisions. And in this case, obviously, you're not selling drugs or doing it's anything illegal. But part, part the consequence play. of being a masculine woman is masculine men are not going to take you seriously. I agree. I agree. And that's why I'm single. That's why I'm single. Okay. okay. I Fair enough. I agree with you. So, Next, uh, what's your take on it? Do you agree, disagree? You hate me? Or um, what do women, men want in women, right? Do you know what men really want? Maybe not. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Do you know what, what okay, men want? Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> So first and foremost, um, I'm trying to remember everything that Myron said because that's what I really wanted to talk about. Okay, good, Cliff, good, notes, good. Cliff notes, men's roles are static. Women's roles are negotiable. A woman can say I'm conditionally feminine, and the, but the man always has to be masculine regardless. So I use the example if I walk to you wearing a dress and heels and I say, sorry, I'm conditionally masculine, you would look at me like I was stupid. But it's a completely acceptable for women to be masculine at all times until she meets a masculine man and then she's going to be conditionally feminine okay so i personally feel like as a man yes you have to you have to show that um i can't just sit here and take your word for it because nobody does that everybody has Honestly. to prove themselves um second off i think that men we are the prize as women we fuck who we want y'all fuck who y'all can which means that we have ultimately we have it in our hands and and i feel like we we have to hold ourselves to a better standard we have to sit here and have our morals higher than that we have to sit here and stand our ground and not say that okay society is trying to say that this is the new norm but we as women we have fought so long for so many things that we are not going to lay down for just the bare minimum so um i feel like yeah as men yes every day you're supposed to prove yourself to to women or just in general to yourself you're supposed to prove that every day because people can change every day mm -hmm. men can sit here and one day wake up and not want to feel the same yes you got to prove to me every day that this is where you want to be that this is what you want to do and as a woman i feel like it's the same thing i have to do the same thing in return and if not if nobody is doing their part every day on a consistent basis then where are we getting that ultimately there is no growth yes yeah, so i'll say this um you you said earlier that you know uh, times have changed and you guys took a lot to get to this point right mm -hmm. so like, you don't want to submit to any just random person right. and i get that mm -hmm. but who loses at the end though who really loses men or women because not us no you do lose no because think about this right you're not submitting because you've came this far i get it mm -hmm. but submission isn't a bad thing right and for the right person it actually means freedom of course so if you're not submitting who are you hurting yourself i'm gonna tell you right now i didn't hurt my damn self doing that shit so like right. some, learn, we gotta walk away it, yo on so you real, learn from it so like what you walk away though and then like what is that like you have somebody that loves you that cares about you that's willing to do anything for you and you, as a woman i'm telling you right now this is something i have dealt that with was, i'm dealing that's with not as a woman that's can we so, let her finish and then we'll we'll get yeah, yeah. let Go her ahead, make yeah. her so um of course. so that was was that your point like, uh, uh, do you have anything else? Well, to ultimately, yeah, you yeah. have to be whole yourself before you jump into anything. I was just trying to tell her that that is not a woman's problem. That is a self issue. You can't categorize that as woman because as woman, we know, well, everybody should know that you're supposed to be whole before you jump into anything. Mm -hmm. So you, you just yourself wasn't whole. Of course. You, you had personal issues that you had to work on. 100%. And that was, that was that. But other than that, Women can submit and women will submit to the right man. But you have to show us that. You have to give us a reason to do that. You can't just because you look good and everything on the outside is there. Oh, we're just going to submit. No, it's so much more to that. It's so much more to a relationship. I have to see you through the ups, the downs, sitting here. You broke, you rich. Every, people change through m multiple seasons. Like I have to see you through everything and make sure that you're resilient in order for you to sit here and say that I'm going to submit to you because as women we are strong like <laughs> we're strong men can sit here and all day oh yeah i'm tough i'm this i'm that i'm the backbone of the relationship but no men can't do it without women 
And you I think, think that, that men can, you can I, I respectfully disagree. Yeah. Uh, men can 100% exist without women. The only thing men need women for is to propagate Pro a society. Procreate. But we don't need you guys for survival. Women need men for survival. No, we don't. No. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> do you? I can survive. You can survive without yeah. men? Yeah. Okay. If the power cut out We're tomorrow, all human. No, no, no. Okay. If the power goes out. Some men are dumb. Can you fix it? I, I know how to no, make can candles. You? I know how to hold make on. candles. <laughs> Wait, Actually, hold on. Some men can't do what we, some men let me, can't let me, do. Uh, let me make this very clear. God. So the world that you live in with the conveniences that you have right now, power, elect, uh, you I'm know, gas, power, though. water, gas, etc. These are these were all created by men. And not only that, they're maintained by men. The infrastructure from which you are able to live a comfortable first world life was built and created and is currently maintained by men. So for you to say, I don't need men is disingenuous at best and goes against logical fact. The world you live in and the ability that the, the privileges that you have in a first world country were given to you by men. That is not to say that men are better than women. It is simply to say that men are better at certain things than women. And right. one of them just happens to be creating a world and infrastructure to allow women to have a comfortable life. A majority of inventions that have made life simpler were created by men. So you can say, I don't need men, but that is not true at all. Because if the power went out tomorrow and you no longer had running water, you would need to rely on men to be able to get that back. It's so true. I will call the FPL people. Sometimes <laughs> and FPL not, people are women as well. Oh, and they're not even necessarily up. that. Just because a man started <laughs> it does not mean that women cannot maintain it. Right. Power so, grids are I'm exclusively say. run by men. Everybody can learn everything, though. I'm going to say something okay. right now. It's a balance, I literally, I like, I I was not able to do certain things without a man 100%. But, like, okay, so my grandfather taught me how to change a tire, how to do oil change, how to, you know, like, you can't drive without fluids. You can't, like, you can't get a car until you're able to drive stick shift. Like, he taught me all these things so that I did not need a man but who taught me that? Amen. Amen. Yeah. And it's so, vice versa. ladies, the thing is this, man. Some real shit. We have mm -hmm. become so civilized and so forward that we now live in a world where women can actually say, "I don't need a man." That's how. That's how good you guys have life, where you have literally forgotten who created the life that you live in. Again, this is not to say men are better than women, but. There's a gross lack of gratitude for what men have created to allow you to have a simple, better life where you can go ahead and say, I don't need a man. You do need a man because if the power went out today and the water stopped running, there would be anarchy. You would get physically destroyed by a man trying to take your resources. You would need a man to protect and provide for you and be able to go out there and get resources for you. You would die within two days without a man. And that is a fact. It's been since the beginning of time, women needed men for protection and they needed them for provisioning and they needed them for security. And these millennia of human evolution have continued on today. There's a reason why women want a man that makes more money than them, taller than them, more muscular than them, intelligent, etc. These are all survival Oops. traits that a man has. Women look for survival value. Men look for replication value. In other words, mm -hmm. women want a man that can provide and protect. Men want a woman that's attractive that they can replicate children with that are going to be attractive. So that's what it is. So we can sit here and say, I don't need no man. But that is factually false. It's the moment. You would die within two days without a man protecting you. But in, I, in a, in I don't need no world. man. And, uh, video, okay. we, we in the Mario. anarchy world, I don't need a man. I don't think okay. that it's necessarily that right. we don't need a man. But I think that it is. I don't think that we should downplay the fact that women need men just as much as men need women. Right. No, I think that, is, that, is, that is not true. Men that do not win. Okay. Ladies, I said this very clearly earlier. Men do not need women for survival. We need you guys to have children and continue society. But if five men were together and no longer saw a woman ever, they, they would still live. They would still live. If five women were together with no men, they would die. Because, oh, we don't know for sure. because, because women really? are not strong enough to manipulate the world and uh, take on attackers like men are. And that's an oh. opinion. Yeah, that is yeah a... that's an opinion, though. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. You, you guys... It, it, no, hold on. You're saying that's an opinion? Who is stronger? Me or you? 
men are stronger, but I feel Me. like women have strategies that. Ta- ta- All right, I'm not even gonna entertain this anymore. <laughs> no, now, now you're just now you're just trying to be. A we got a video <laughs> that confirms and everything we're saying right now. We're laughing at you. So. Take it out. Take it out. What will happen if men disappear from from the earth? Perfect video for this fitting, you know, topic. Mm-hmm. Me, uh, oh, it's, it's muted. Yep. Life, life without men. Early men, as well as 97.6 percent of electrical grid installers. So at the beginning, you would have to be in the dark. Do not try to turn on your taps. 95.5% of workers in wastewater treatment plants and system operators were men. It would be difficult to travel. 95.9% of the aircraft pilots and flight engineers were men. And almost 100% of engineers and operators of the locomotive were men. However, the travel not only to other countries, but also to re- 91 percent of electrical engineers in the okay United so States. that's uh that literally is what i said earlier that men control like 90 percent of the power grids that keep society running so i know you guys don't like what i'm saying but it is the truth you don't have you can't to survive like without it. men period you, we don't like it but it's honestly like that's some real ass shit right there like yo i do not like hold on, hold on, hold on. go ahead you will get your chance to talk are you are you done by the way did you have anything else that you mm-hmm. wanted to say mm-hmm. i just want to make sure every no, go ahead Oh, no, no, I was going to just move on to her. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, wait, what should I say? <laughs> She's like, wait, yeah, what like, do I say? Right right okay, now. The, question, the question is, um, you can react to what I said about women being conditionally feminine, or what do you know what men want? I think it's, um, well, I don't know, because it's different for everybody, but I think most times it, everybody wants peace and, you know, being loved and understood and supported. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. Um, especially when you grow older. So you just want to be sure that there is the right person next to you that you can rely on and, you know, you're supported. Okay. But um, about the... Conditional masculinity, yes, like conditional I femininity? I meant it, maybe I said it the wrong way, but I meant it, it's not about I'm going to be more masculine if I see a guy and then I'm going to see if he's more masculine than me. It's more about I'm going to be myself still, you know? But um, some girls are less... Fe- like girly girls some it's just natural yeah and i guess it's what you see in a man if you see that a man is like kind of you know playing with you or you know not really serious and you don't even know what he's about you're going to be standing for yourself so you're going to be more independent because you're not going to rely on him to do certain things so again you're going to come off as more like well, why not up. just walk away and leave him no you right. can do that too but i'm just saying if, it depends on the relationship you have because with the person some girls just say for no reason you learn from that yeah and it's just how it is i'll say this yeah because uh, you brought up a good point like you know she had some issues to work out whatever what i'm trying to say is there's a deep-rooted problem beyond her working by personal issues in the west we tell women to be strong and independent and we indoctrinate them to be masculine at all times and independent and pers- uh, basically adopt this idea that you can do anything a man can do right we tell young girls this you can do anything a boy can do you're equal to a man you're the same 50 50 partnerships i like that there's not one country in the world that's run by a partnership the united states russia china um canada every major country that has power is run by one person one decision maker it's not by committee guys and that's what i'm saying relationships that work don't work that way either it sounds good on paper, but you know what else sounds good on paper? Communism. Communism. And we know what happened with that. So with that said, I get what you're saying. Like, hey, she had some issues to work out. But what I'm saying is it goes far beyond her personal issues. I think there's an indoctrination and a societal problem where we're telling little girls that they can be just like little boys. And what happens is they no longer become little girls because they're now becoming like little boys. And we incentivize women to be this way without them knowing that there's ramifications and consequences to acting like a boy. We tell them you can have your cake and eat it too. You can act like a dude and still get a high value man. That's not the way the world works. Men that have options aren't going to tolerate women that are masculine, just like you, attractive women, right? Are not going to tolerate a feminine man. When I mentioned I'm conditionally masculine, all of you guys laughed at me. That's exactly how men feel when a woman is masculine and she can turn on her femininity. It's an asinine concept that only in the West we allow to exist. Well, this is like when I go back to like what my mom. It's said. your go now. I think. Are you good? You're. you're did you? Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay. So that's I mean, what I meant. Now you go. Go ahead. So like that's like literally when I play back to like my mom said like this is what I taught you. This is what you know you're supposed to do type of thing. But everything that I taught you isn't right. It isn't. What, and now that she is married, then she is submissive to a man. And uh-huh. She is. So of course now she's like, hey Lex, like she changed her outlook. 
Of but of course, like yeah. you know, what I mean? like how can she do? Like but the damage is done now. So what she yeah. was like, the damage is done a hundred percent. But what she's looking for me to do is how do you grow from that? Mm. How do you? She literally looked me like dead ass in my face and was like, "I taught you some things." That I, I shouldn't have taught you. Mm. And that's where it's that's like, real. yo, it's some real ass shit. Because like, yo, women are really out here raising children by themselves. They're really doing it, whatever mm. the situation is. But what are these children being taught? Where are they learning from? Where are they growing from? What are they doing? So this is where you stop and you realize like, okay, this is what I have been taught. This is what I know. This is what I do. But how do I learn from it? How do I grow? What do I do? How do I change? How do I, cause it, look, I don't want to be submissive to anybody, but do I realize in life like, yo, like at the end of the day, I do want to be submissive. I do want to be loved. I do want to be like, do these things. But what my mom taught me was fuck these niggas get money type shit at the and then when she come back she's like i know it's said Period. fuck these niggas to do this shit but this is really what it's about and it's about like figure it out it's hard it's not easy women out here every woman watching this podcast whatever it is everything that you were taught is not right you were taught it it doesn't mean that it's right Damn. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well Thank you for for keeping it real, being honest and and being vulnerable like that. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I would say uh, just to um add on to what you were saying, which I thought you made some fantastic points. This stems from not having a father figure. A hundred percent. This is why you know uh, a father is so important. You know, fathers keep um yep. sons out of jail and daughters, you know, uh, off stripper poles. And the father is basically your first line of defense to keep you as a uh, keep you from being a statistic of the state. 100%. So, and then also, you know, a, a woman that has a, a woman that typically grew up with her father is going to have, um, how do I say this? She's going to have a genuine respect for men to a degree where she'll understand that the female male dynamic is how one of, of our harmonious bond where there's a masculine and a feminine and she needs to be in her feminine for things to work. But when you're raised by a single mother, which let's be honest, a lot of single mothers have disdain for men. They have a bad taste in their mouth. They probably, a lot of them bad mouth the baby father, et cetera. You're constantly told throughout your childhood and your adolescence, your formative years, that men ain't shit. They're nothing. They're below you. You could do anything they can do. And what that does is, is that builds an indoctrination in their head that men are inferior so that when you finally do meet a man, hell, you might meet a man of means. You might meet a man that's worthy, that's worthy of a relationship, whatever it is. You're coming off with a barrier. You're coming in with a barrier up and you're telling him climb it. And what I'm telling you is. We not the, gonna they're, they're gonna say fuck you bitch i'm not climbing it <laughs> and i'm gonna go to the other guy it's just that men will never admit this what they'll simply do is i'll climb half the wall to get sex i don't even got to jump over it then as soon as he gets the sex he's he gone got, drop off go to the next girl that doesn't have a barrier up and that's where so many women fail i'm telling so, you right yeah. now the reason why i'm able to be where i'm doing that how does he win doing that? That's a good question. I will. I'll, I'll bring it back to that. I just want to give the ladies an option. Go ahead. Yeah. So that, I just want to add on that. This stems from not having a father. That's why father is so important. What, Hold on. Take? I want one more thing to that as well. Yeah, so you, you brought a very good point, right? So picture this. If you were to say all men are like not worth, worth it, trash, whatever for your mom, you know, that's the mindset sometimes. Also think about choice. If you're out there dating, right? And you choose the wrong guys. They lie to you. They cheat on you. They treat you horrible. Damn. Is this, is this how all men are? And look, you might have known this is the right guy or the or the wrong guy, but you took a chance. Uh, I was I was literally blessed enough in life to have a mom that, mm. yo, know, like she literally like well, my my dad a a pos if that's what like you want to call it whatever the situation is, but she never said it. Mm. She never was like, yo, fuck your dad. He's not here. He doesn't pay this. He doesn't do this. He's not there for you. She never said any of that. She was like, I'm gonna allow you to have your own opinion about this man in your life. Yeah. And that's something that I'm blessed enough to say that I have because a lot of women out here, they get that shit. Yeah. Oh, your dad's a piece of shit. He's yeah. not there. He's fucking so, so he he doesn't Bashing do men is just as bad, but like it's not as bad as bashing a dad. I get what you're saying. Yeah, well, when you're a woman, a lot of women do it. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. They literally are like, oh, I have a kid by you because you don't want to be by me fuck you and fuck like your kid is never gonna see you and they use that as it's an leverage. advantage yeah. and the reason why i can get up here and be your girl lex and act the way i am is because my mom sat in front of my face and literally was like i'm gonna let you decide on how you feel about your father no but i'm, I'm saying as well when girls go there to the marketplace for dating like they'll go in okay you know what 
trusting, naive, whatever. And then they get, you know, fucked t- over. Tossed, chucked. And then they say, damn, I hate all men. And I get it. You cannot take one situation that you go through and yeah, make no, it. But it might be multiple. And I'm saying to them, hey, I get it. I understand. But maybe it was the wrong choice you made for the guy. So now to put down every single guy that you meet going forward is like, yo, like this guy was actually good for you because you don't have the trust issues or whatever. Now you're going to put this on, on, on the new guy. That's not fair. So I saw Le- a post. Life isn't fair either. But I'm just saying like, I see why girls have this attitude towards men because obviously they, they pick the wrong guy, the guy chill, whatever. Trust issues. I get it. But every guy isn't the same for the most part. And I, I get this, right? I, I guarantee you those singles that did that, the whole nine yards with all these guys, whatever. Um, one guy actually was the right guy for them because of the issues. They, they couldn't even see it. So I'm just saying, look, at some point, that guard needs to go down 100%. and it has to be some trust here. Just a little bit. Right. So, all right. Uh, what's your take on this? Um, well, one, I believe that men want peace. And I believe in order to give a man peace, you have to first be at peace with yourself. Mm-hmm. And right. also, the reason why I pick conditional femininity is because that's what my father taught me, actually. Mm. Because he taught me the things that a man should know how to do just in case I meet a man who doesn't know how to do those things. And the thing is, I had a boyfriend who was a mama's boy. He didn't know how to do the things that a man should know how to do. He didn't know how to lead me. I would ask him certain questions. He wanted me to pick everything. He didn't want to be the man in that situation. Or maybe, or I'm not going to say that because he just didn't know. He didn't have that father figure. But I am now with a man who 1000% can lead me. So that is why I feel like I agree with that statement that Carrie made. Um, But yes, I believe that a man should lead just because um, you know, he's proven to me multiple times in certain s- situations that he can lead me in those situations and he can be that man and that we can be a partnership. But I do not believe that I would be able to survive in a desert, you know, without a man. Without a man. I, I'm not going to sit here and be <laughs> like, because I believe, yes, we want to sit here and say men and uh, women are equal, but I'll in reality, oh, no, we can't survive without a man. Like mm-hmm. my dad, he literally has went through the survival guide with me and was like, you can eat these plants and you could do this. And I'm like, I can't remember all that. Like, I, I need a man to just tell me, you know, what to do. Like, yeah. And that's that was that's just me. That's fair. <laughs> um, but, so uh, we'll get to you here in a second. So I have a question for you, though. <laughs> so you said that your boy, your your father told you to, like, you know, be conditionally feminine. My question is this. If you allowed the your past boyfriend into your life. Why didn't you just get rid of him as soon as you saw that he was ill-equipped to be uh, a leader? I did. Like immediately? How soon? How quickly? Did, how long did you date him before that? That's what I'm trying to say. You will know it, guys. I did. I didn't know until a couple months later. Like I didn't realize because it took so many circumstances for me to be like, "Damn!" Like I keep right. asking you what you want to eat, what you want to do. You can't even so, tell me. Ladies, like, what you want? You want some game, real is. quick? You'll know before you even meet the guy if he's a leader. Tell me how, please. If if he's telling you to plan the date off rip or whatever, yeah, you'll know off rip right, right there. This this ain't the one. So that's what I'm saying. Like we got to put some accountability on the women. Like you're going out with these guys, hoping for them to change, and Not hoping expecting. is never good. You gotta. See? I always say this: women operate on possibilities. Men tend to operate on p- probabilities. Mm-hmm. The possibility that you might be able to change him or make him better. It exists, but it's like 1%. You ain't never going to be able to change a man. Mm-hmm. If he's a pussy and he's a pushover, then life needs to punish him and re- not reinforce that bad behavior and that inadequacy, which, trust me, life will punish him. Men have to live in a fact-based reality. Yeah. So you know from him texting you and setting up the date that he's not equipped, and you just don't deal with him. My thing is this. Why show up on a date or hang out with a guy on a romantic level with masculine energy, right? making him prove himself to you you don't even got to go that far you'll know within five to ten minutes of hanging out with him that he ain't about shit yep Mm -hmm. you could figure it out in the text messages so that's why i'm saying women have to take a little bit of accountability too right so i get what your father's saying he gave you that advice but i guarantee you if you had involved your father in the beginning of the relationship to some Mm -hmm. degree you wouldn't even be in the situation you wouldn't even have been in it and that's why i say dads are so goddamn important fathers save their daughters from bad decisions and men your father's able to screen out other men that aren't good suitors for his daughter so that's why i tell girls all the time involve your dad involve your brother or involve your uncle some man in your family that loves you right that's familiar with the same blood yeah he's gonna be able to screen out that person like that so 
that's the, I would say just that's just some game for the ladies. Like you don't want to be around a beta male, you'll know immediately from the way he texts you and converses with you in the beginning that he he ain't worth it. But going into the date with masculine energy, expecting to change him is not going to work. You can't change him. So what's your take? Go ahead. What's the question? <laughs> so the, the first question. So yeah, yeah. Rebuttal. If you if you don't agree with what I said as far as like conditional femininity or masculinity, and then do you know what men want? <clears throat> so I feel like men they just want someone to like. Be on the same page as them. They want someone to build with them. You guys have to be on the same page. That's all it's about. If you guys are, you will know if someone's for you. If y'all on the same page, you have a goal. You have, you know, if y'all not on the same page, then it's just not gonna work. What is the same page though? Whatever. Yeah, I was gonna ask that too. Whatever page you guys are, whatever goal you guys are reaching, what if you guys are on the same similarities with what you guys want in life? For example, like you know, you guys both want to be on top. You guys both want to grind. Both get money. You guys both need to be on that, you know, same same mindset, you know? You meet a lot of people that's not on the same mindset as you, you know? So like, you think men want a woman on the same mindset? When it comes to financially, like, you don't want no no female to just, you do everything and you want a female that's on their shit, Some you guys know? do, actually. Like, <laughs> hustlers. I'm a hustler. Every man is different, though. See? Some, yeah, every yeah, man is some different. Men want, like, some a men, yeah, yeah. Some men home. want, like, yeah, to be so. home and... You, I go out and you go, you know, you stay in the house and take care of the kids, but people's different. Right. Everybody's different. It is clear Everyone's different. that yeah. women don't know what men really want. <laughs> it's very clear. I'll, I'll so what you, how would you ask your man what he wants? And I promise you, yeah, he'll tell he'll you. Tell you. Yeah. But when he tells you, because this is something, like I said, y'all, I fucking got emotional on it. Like, he told me what he wanted. And I still was not able to provide to him what he needed and what he wanted. So when I was not able to do that and he took a, a, a step forward, I'm like, where are you going? Like, you know, what I mean, like, what See, are you doing? Me, I'm then, take every then you really like, really stop and like take a step back and realize like, OK, I want him to give me this, this and this. But what can I provide for him? And it's it goes both ways. Figure it out, women. Okay. Any woman listening to this, so yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so all right. So you think that uh, basically you're on the so, same page, and then anything else? Mm, no. Okay. Right. Okay. So men want a woman that's a hustler and ambitious. Yeah, we all okay. want that. Don't you? Don't want that <laughs> in your woman? I'm not. So this is what I'll say. For me personally, I'm not even going to bother to answer for for me. But what I'll do is I'll speak on behalf of all men. And I'll give you a general but consensus. But you, you, I, I just have something to say. Like sure. I feel like you cannot speak on all men because all men are not the same. So those are just your facts and your experience that you don't went through with you know females and women that you came across. But every you can't speak for all men. How, we how can we you coach that? thousands of men every single day, and I'll, I'll tell you this: most men think the same for the most part. Yeah, they may, men, they may not say it. But innately, they think I'll be very same. honest, ladies. You guys yeah. make the cardinal mistake of thinking that men are as complex as you. We are not. We're nope. far simpler. Yeah, the way path, simpler. Very simple. Yeah, you said what? Men, women are simpler? No, no men. Yeah, 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 I already know yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So men are far more far more simple than women are, and the, and the the prerequisites to a man's happiness are far less complex than a woman. So, simply put, I'm going to give you an analogy, and then you tell me what you think. Okay. If I walked up to you and I said, "Hey, listen." I got an awesome Jordan collection. You should check it out sometime. Uh, let's go on a date. What would your thought be? <laughs> if you don't get on my face, okay. I know okay. something. Okay. So would it be fair to say that me making that statement is irrelevant? Mm -hmm. it's, no, not, it's not because not. I want to get to know you. So I'm going to want to see what attracts your <laughs> what interest. Like, show me your Jordans. I okay. may not be interested, but you know you're interested because right. of what reason? Fair enough. Tell me. So, th well, this is the point I'm trying to make here. Me telling you I have an awesome Jordan collection is the same. As when a woman says, I have a career and I'm a hustler. It's really not important. Irrelevant. But it's the Jordan collection doesn't no. make you money. A career and being you're, a hustler will make you money. You're, you're, you're missing the point. You're, you're missing the point. I'm using the analogy simply to illustrate that a woman's professional career and income does not hold as much weight as women do. And the equivalent would be me telling you I have an awesome Jordan collection. Cool for you, but I don't care. That's how men feel about a woman with a career. It's a plus, but it's not necessarily adding to your sexiness. But on the other side, a man that earns a lot of money and is ambitious is sexy because that's what women want. The problem is that women think men want the same things that women want. And the reality is we don't. We want far different things 
than you guys do. So what do men want? Tell us. Simply put, men <laughs> want peace, like you said. Feminine women, not masculine, not want a competition, want to be on my same level. <coughs> and they also want women that's going to be in shape, fit, submissive. That's it. And compliant. That's it. That's y'all not want, yeah, well, we, y'all we have our housewives, one, but then y'all no, want gosh. us to have our own sources of income. But well. hold on, hold on, hold on. You Men see, are hypocrites. Hold on. We're telling you what we want, but you're fighting us on what and we you're want. No, I'm agreeing. It is, it is literally. No, because I guarantee we, you, ask everyone in this live right now. Be, but everything that we were saying, all our opinions about what we, what you guys want, and you know, we were saying all that. So no, you didn't. We said you, peace. No, no, did. she said peace. I did too. She said peace. Only two people said peace. But I mean, there's a lot more. And, but, and that's after, same, I said, okay. after I said but it. I, 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 I gave it away it. during my, yeah. when I when I went on my the talk about, you know, what conditional want. masculinity, conditional and feminine. No, no offense. Some of you could even answer it. Y'all want so, housewives that can't hustle for themselves and let y'all hustle for us. And then when we start to hustle, it's too masculine for you guys. Hustle in the house. I, you listen, listen, listen. Hustle. Listen, listen. Hustle. listen. My, my dad, my dad had two wives that that, that, stay, that were stay at home wives, and they're still together, and they have fourteen kids. So it makes perfect sense, and that's what I was raised to, and that's the product of the environment that I'm from. But that environment doesn't adapt to America. I can't find men that can identify with that environment. Oh, no, no, no. They look at me like a unicorn, like bitch. You want to be home? No, and there cook are men and clean and give yeah. me kids and provide and there raise are these men kids. that are traditional. Where are you getting your money from? Because I'm not going to provide for you to lay on your back and cook and clean and provide for these kids. That's that's the environment that we're in now. Well, you and are- I'm not saying it's your problem. I'm not saying it's your problem. I'm saying it's a problem of America where it's like. We have females, we have a lot of single family, single parent households where we have men being the mom and dad. We have females being the mom and dad. And correct. Single so mother households. There's both. But it, no, it, it, single mother households. There's a lot of single mother households. And that's that's causing a lot of estrogen to be in our society and males being less emotionally able to control their emotions. And then in females, not being able to trust males because we're used to seeing another female provide. Okay, let's us. let's go off of facts, please. Single parent households are dominated by single mothers, not single that's fathers. True. That is a fact, and, and that's the reason because. Yes, well, well, hold on. Yes, because yes. fathers please, made them. Please singles. let me finish. Stop. Stop it right now, okay? Stop cutting Marin off. Yeah, it's it's uh the the, the guys. It's are a conversation, mad about it. so just let them talk. Then you can talk them. Because you yeah. made some claims there that were that were false. You know, number one, sing, single parent households are dominated by single mother households. True. Okay. Number two, there are plenty of men that want to support and take care of a woman. Here's the kicker, though. That's true. These men are not attractive to a majority of women. I'm going to say that again. There's plenty of men that want to be traditional men that want to take care of a woman. But these men are not attractive to a majority of women. If you take an average man and ask her to describe her ideal, uh, if you take an average woman and ask her to describe her ideal man, she's going to say six feet tall, hundred thousand dollars a year, six figures. attractive, etc. They're going to have certain standards. But what women fail to realize is this man that you're describing is like 3% of men. What did I describe? A male coming from a well, you said, For one, you said you wanted an alpha household. male. You said you wanted an alpha male for but, one. But I grew up in Saudi Arabia. That's not a representation of the society that we're discussing. You're in America but, but, right now. You're in America. And, right, and I'm in America rare. right now. And that's what I'm saying. I'm speaking are to the problem rare. that we have in America where the majority of our households are ran by single females. And because of but who that chose problem, that? society. No, women chose it. Okay, our, the, the, our women. I agree did not with you. I can what agree you with you hold on, hold on, hold on. saying whoa, whoa, that women whoa, whoa. Let me, chose let me. that. But because <laughs> women, did women choose, that. chose that, they chose to take on the masculinity of becoming the father and mother in those households. And the kids. And who suffers? And the, the kids. Okay. And By a woman's point. choice. And that's my point. Yeah, but why but, are you putting everything on women? It could be men. They make women leave the house. and They don't leave them there alone on their own. Women aren't there on their own. Guys have to make the choice to leave and make them be a single female. Ladies, w- with all due respect, both of you are incorrect. 80% of divorces are initiated by women. Okay, it's not well men. Then I guess you're it's just not speaking men. on proven facts. Yeah, I'm speaking on proven facts. Yeah, I, I am not, It is not men yeah. that create single mother households. It is women that create single mother households because women overwhelmingly end relationships. Right. It is not men. As a matter of fact, Men typically fight to keep the relationship going and keep stay together. And there's a reason for that. That's not to say men are angels. It's a financial incentive. Men know if they divorce the woman, they're losing their money. Yep. So it's cheaper to keep her, baby. But that does not change the fact that women 
overwhelmingly destroy the household, not men. You guys can say, I feel, but the facts are women create single mother households. And a byproduct of that is the degenerates, the f high school failures, the criminals, the rapists, the convicted felons, the school shooters. They all come predominantly from single mother households, which is a woman's choice. We cannot sit here and continue to blame men for everything when women are the ones that start single mother households. It's systematic. Yes, but <clears throat> if we do start single mother households, you can't sit here and say, oh, that's all on the woman's blame. Because as a man, men nine times out of 10 are not doing what they're supposed to be doing in the relationship, which is why we are forced to leave. It's Who picks the man? Hold on, hold on. No, you are right. You're 100% right. But guess what? You chose the man. Right. So well, if you choose the man, we didn't that's choose a, the man, no, though. That's, a, the man that's, chose a, us. that's a deadbeat, no good. On and some, not faithful. Whose no, fault no, is that? No, 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 no. On not some, all the time. It's her now, fault though, because she chose him. Yes, as a man. You gave him a kid. Yeah. I, some, I, agree. I can't make. I can't make. A, Yo, I can't make you have him. Give him a kid. You're, you're right. I agree that as women we do choose our man, but at the end of the day, like I said, people change like night and day. One day you can wake up in a relationship and not just want to be with me no more. One day you can want to just go have other people or or do things that are not acceptable in a marriage, me, which is really which is a man. Now you are asking to get out of the relationship <laughs> just because you're not doing the divorce papers and you don't want to push it because you want to save money. Don't put it all on the woman's fault because <laughs> it is still a man. It works both ways. Like you're supposed, everybody's supposed to be content in a relationship. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do as a man, you are forcing the woman to leave. Not I'm a relationship is a two person right a tango. Right. So, so not only one is other. wrong, it's yeah, both. At it's some both. point in time, it's both people. I you have to stop and realize. At the end of the day, I'm not like you know everybody makes their own decisions, whatever it is. But if I get pregnant by a man that I know cannot support me that cannot be the man that i feel like. you know what i'm doing push me down some damn stairs uh -huh. oh my god oh, <laughs> yeah, i mean, I, mean it's, I know that sounds really aggressive and i know i just said it so freely five times a day, <laughs> i'm so, literally it, like the point is this ladies you it's it's the woman's fault because men have zero reproductive rights in the united states i can't force you to abort a baby only you can so if a woman chooses to lay with a man right it's she also chooses if she wants to have the kid, you have multiple points where you can exit the runway mm -hmm. and you're choosing not to exit the runway where the man has the no exits on the runway. So with that said, women initiate the divorces. And here's the other thing, too. You mentioned if the guy isn't doing his point anymore. When did marriage become about personal happiness? I'm going to say that again. When did marriage become about personal happiness? Marriage is about duty and raising children in a two parent household. Yep. I know plenty of my parents are even a, a part of this. They've broke, wanted to divorce many times, argued, whatever it is. But you know what? They stuck it out because they knew that the child's success was contingent upon Paramount. the child's the proper development. The problem is this. We live in a hedonistic society where women always think they can do better. They always think the grass is greener on the other side of the road. Sorry, other grass of the fence, other side of the fence. And they leave the men to have a single child, to be a single parent and think that they can get a stepdaddy to take the reins. And it doesn't work that way. Marriage is not about personal happiness. But in the West, we are brainwashed to think it is about personal happiness. And as soon as a woman isn't happening anymore, she can walk away, which she can. But the reality is this, surprised. your children are going to suffer as a result. And mm -hmm. we need to start letting women know children suffer under single mother households. And as a matter of fact, there's data to prove my point as well, that single father households are far more potent in developing a <laughs> uh, conducive a child conducive to the success of society versus single mother households create tyrants that destroy society. And there's stats to show that as well. Single fathers are superior than single mothers in raising children, especially in the adolescent years, the formative years, where they will basically go on a path to destruction or path to success. I believe that's that. the facts. Yeah. yeah. Yo, on some real shit, it fucking sucks. It's yeah. some it's it's not something that like, okay, I agree with this is what I want life to be. No, but it life it it it, it is what it is on some real okay, shit. Next video. Real quick, next video. Let's uh let's do it. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed that discussion. It was a good discussion. Yeah, I mean, was. people disagree with me, agree with me, whatever, agree to disagree. So <laughs> where's, the, um, where's the data? We have the whole link tree on all these. Yeah, all these guys, it, for, for people that are asking for the data, <laughs> yeah, I want to see the data go ahead uh, in the in the uh, in the description box. It's it's a link tree and it goes slash F F F facts. Acts. Yeah. Three F's and then A S C T S facts. All the studies are there about, you know, um, what we're talking about.
All right, here's the next video. Okay, a uh, little background on this one, Trey, or, or what? I actually didn't see this one. Trey, go ahead. Trey, Trey's gonna. <laughs> she basically becomes red pill and hits the wall at the same time. Is 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 crazy? Oh, wow. Okay, all right. So, um, this is gonna. Can we enlarge this, Chris, real quick? And I'll read the description. No, there's there's none. It's TikTok. Okay, this is from TikTok. Aaron Fay three. Okay, we'll play it. Let's uh. And up like me. And this is why I think dating isn't working out for us girls. If you know, you know. So these guys are going on these dating apps and these younger girls are looking fucking. <coughs> you might need to refresh, Chris. Yeah, no, it's loading right now. But let me show you. It, nah, just re refresh. Or maybe if you don't enlarge it, that might 30. fix it. Yeah. If you, maybe if you don't enlarge it. Keep it smaller. On our side. All right, oh. there we go. My girl is an oh. up like me. And this is why I think dating isn't working out for us girls. If you know, you know. So these guys are going on these dating apps and these younger girls are looking fucking fabulous contouring. It's not fair. We didn't have that. We are looking ratchet and we looked young. But these girls look old as hell. So they're going out all of these little chickadees <laughs> well we get screwed because here's the deal they don't need to res be respected they don't need to be taken on fancy dinners they can just go out pick and choose all these beautiful little girls walking around with their fat asses meanwhile we were waiting you know and we've already passed the little host stage we're not having sex so we're not putting out but they are and these men why would they want to settle down with us when they can fuck a different girl every fucking night? Yeah, no, basically. This is for my girls. Oh. Okay. Cool. What are your thoughts, sir? Ladies. Okay, so we'll uh, start here. Yeah, we'll start there. Is it true? <laughs> is it not true? Agree, disagree. Could you even hear? I could hear, okay. but no comment. Can you explain what you're saying, <laughs> Fresh? So basically, she was saying that for older women or women that are more mature past the whole phase, they're not putting out as much. But the young girls are going on dating apps and they're looking good, fat ass or whatever, and they're putting out daily. So a guy can get sex whenever he feels like versus if the girl's holding out on him, he's kind of like, okay, I'm going to stick to the young girls that are putting out. What are your thoughts on that? I feel like, yeah, that's true because men will go for something that's more easier. So mm -hmm. like that would be the younger girls. So I since like... you know that, would you make it easier for them or no? Yourself. For who? But like, let's say you know that that's happening and uh, it's your case now. Would you make it easier for the guy, or would you make it harder for the guy, knowing that he can go out there and get other girls easily e easier? Mm, I wouldn't even care to be honest. No? I'd just be like, "Go!" I'm just won't talk to him anymore. Okay. <laughs> so you have to. Yeah, yeah. I'll just right. Move forward. All right. You like, go get them girls. I guess you have to know where you are in your point of life. Like, are you looking for a relationship, or are you just looking to be out here, fucking and stuff? But. I personally would not pay it any mind. I just, you know, okay, that person's not for me. That if that's what they're doing, because I know what I want. Okay. <laughs> Princess, what's going on, Papa? Look, life is life. So just realize where you're at in situations. Everybody is not on the same page, <gasps> not doing the same thing. So when you think that. I deserve this and I deserve that. Da, da, da. They make a very clear point. Why do you deserve it? Why do you feel like you deserve it? Is like the real point. So figure it out on some real shit. Not every man is meant for you. Not every woman is meant for you. Go ahead. Okay. I'm listening. Go ahead. I know you're about to say something. No, no. I mean, that, that's real though. Real ass shit. Like figure it out. Where you're at, what you're doing, who you're with, like, is it more? Is it, like, do you submit? Do you move a certain way? Do you, like, figure it out? Because it's, let me tell you, you think that you're meant for a man, and a man is thinks he's meant for you, and it's not the situation. So, figure, figure it, it out. out. Figure it figure out, fellas. Figure it out, girls. Figure it out, man. Figure it out. Um, well... It's not like I don't really agree or disagree with the video. I feel like she said something that's been going on. It's just right now in our society with Instagram and social media and makeup and everything, it's more vivid and like you right. see it everywhere. But before is also, I feel like 
we like you know it's nothing new so again if you see and you feel that a man is looking for something easy and you don't want to do that because you have to tr stay true to yourself if you feel like you have to do something to get somebody that's already like wrong because if you don't feel like you want to give in to the man for whatever reason you don't have to do that and if he doesn't want you because of that that's already not your person because if it's your person he's gonna stick with you he wants to get to know you you know he will do what he has to do right. so that's you just have to stay true to yourself and if you don't want to do something don't do it and let the other girls do it if they mm -hmm. really want that but you know it is, they say easy come easy go so easy. i guess oh. i believe that but not all the time obviously some things happen but yeah if you see that a man is on this energy that is not your energy not your vibe then you know don't do stuff for him i would i would agree with what you said but i would change easy come easy go to easy come when i'm young and beautiful hard go as i get older I think that's a very important part that women need to understand that you guys do have a time clock I mean, and you yeah. are not going to be able to negotiate the same terms as you get older, which is what this woman is kind of coming to terms with. That unfortunately, a woman's age does play a significant role in her level of True. attractiveness. I would so, say easy, people, easy come, yeah. easy stay. Because <laughs> that, that's, that's how I like it. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I would say. But so yeah, I, I see where you're coming popping. from as well. <laughs> Uh, what's your take on it? I agree. I agree with the video. I agree with Myron. I agree with you. I agree with her. Um, I think that. Wait, you don't disagree? You no, not I agree. Not this time. Doesn't disagree. God I damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree a hundred percent. I think that, like I said before, like society makes things normal, and and we are not as women. I don't think that we're holding our value as much as we should anymore. I think that in this society, we're not thinking of ourselves as highly as we truly are supposed to be viewed um and in that video i think that women are are just letting things go more easily than we're supposed to be taking accountability for because like i said before if we stood our ground and we did not accept that right now this would not be normal if with women did that and mm -hmm. women like i said need to take accountability and do that which is why right now we are having this discussion which is why it's becoming the new norm because women haven't they just let men just do what they want to the point where now this is becoming the casualty and we're going to eventually have to conform to it. Um, but I'm old school. Like, I'm not going to go for that. Like, like, like she said, if, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to stay my ground. I know. And whatever I view love as, that's what I'm going to go around with. Yeah. If that's what you want to view love as, then cool. Go find that. But this is. I'm sticking to my guns and I'm gonna sit here and stick to my morals. So All right. yeah. All right. Okay. Mother Russia. Part I think two. I have like literally the same opinion. Like <laughs> of course you on do. all of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. What a critical thing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I don't wanna just like repeat that. It's all about the vibe. If you see the guy who wants like, you know, to get everything easy and it's not your thing, like you don't have to do anything. Like, you don't have to deal with that. Just, like, let right. it go, and that's it. So. Okay. Okay. What's your take on it? Mm. I agree with her. I think that it spoke to what you brought up earlier, that, you know, men aren't going to deal with women that are putting up walls. They're just going to go to the next easier available option to them. So, on that note, I agree. Um, and, you know, on that note is why I do keep my walls up because it's like you do need to show me that you're here for me and you're not going to jump to the next available option. So I agree both sides. Are you content with the fact that or pos excuse me, are you content with since you have a barrier up and a wall up that men are not going to be willing to climb it and move on? Yes. Are I don't, okay? I don't Can you think make peace that with that? men have to deal with my emotional baggage. You know, okay. That's where that safe space came in. You know, and it's not on anyone to have to deal with that. And that's where that vulnerability comes in for someone to say, I do want to do that. I want to okay. take the next step and be there for you. Do okay. you think, and I'll go around the table real quick, yes or no, ladies, do you think a man should accept you for how you are? Or do you think, um, like, should he just take you for how you are or you need to change? I think that, you know, if you meet me where you meet me and you like the person that you're meeting, you need to accept that and be ready to unpack other baggage that may be there and vice versa. 
Okay. okay. So in other words, he's got to accept you as you are. Yes. And vice versa. Okay. Crickets. I'm just trying to start it right. Um, I mean, it depends on the situation because, like, when you're with someone, you're always changing. You always change something in yourself. I mean, you don't have to be like fake or anything, but like, there is always changes. I don't know. I'm me. talking about significant changes. Like, should he accept you for how you are? If you don't do it, or is he, or is it okay that he can make significant changes? Because on this podcast, for example, we teach guys that you're going to have to train your girlfriend to become a good girlfriend on a balance of probabilities. And I know that sounds awful to say, but I can explain uh, where that mindset comes from. But except mm. for who you are, except for who you are, yeah. Okay, yeah. don't tra don't train the girl. No, can't train the girl. <laughs> no. Okay, your take. I think that you can that you're supposed to accept somebody for who they are, but but um, as far as I guess carrying on about things you can have a mutual conversation about you can sit here and say well this is what i want if you don't want that you can go and i all feel right. like that would be acceptable okay all right um i would say if like if you meet somebody you if you like them you you're already accepting them i guess yep. as they are mm -hmm. and obviously nobody's perfect and everybody has their own things and then you learn to compromise and i guess mm -hmm. with that compromising comes like teaching somebody kind of what you like and right. what you want them not to do because you can't just make somebody do stuff who should be compromising more and who should be teaching that depends on how strong which personality is i guess stronger and more willing it's just it's it has to be figured out you, you can't just say right. who yeah. has to be more compromised because with some people you are more compromising with other people you are less compromising because it depends i don't know honestly is it fair know. to say that if the man has to compromise more than he's not a leader oh, oh that's a good one that's a good <laughs> question but <laughs> that's what he goes down to to certain no uh, i don't think it depends i mean do you I guys guess. see where i'm coming from now when yes. i say men have to train women I and it's not as misogynistic as you guys think it's so crazy because, because you use this word misogynistic, but nobody on this panel would be able to actually tell you what the word misogynistic is. Well, the, here, the thing is this. We it, haven't used that word. No, yeah. I know, I know anybody, you guys haven't, but I'm saying like yesterday, <laughs> uh, it, we, we had a girl just throw the word out. And, and I'm going to explain what I mean by train here so that you guys kind of grasp what I'm calling with this. But uh, what's, your, what's your take on it? Do you, should you I accept mean, it, has it has, how it is or should she improve? Re -imp what, what do you, what's your thing? Yo. On some real shit, this is not something I want to accept or even I can't believe I'm saying on camera. But, yo, submit. Submit at some point in time in life. Figure out the man that you're supposed to submit to and submit to him. Mm. Do it. And do it raw. Do it, like, with... Do it raw. Yeah. <laughs> do it live. Damn right. <laughs> Unconditionally. Raw. <laughs> Well, yeah okay uh what's, you what's your take on it? I, I think both parties are gonna have to change at some point because <laughs> okay i feel like if we sit here yep yeah, because we both want to think we don't want to be changed but you have to teach someone how to treat you if yeah. someone's talking right. to you wrong you let them know hey you talking to me wrong that's teaching them how to treat you i think both parties are gonna have to have Conform, some things right. to change compromise. yeah so i think you're both gonna have to compromise if you're ready for that relationship there you go <clears throat> to the same level just play devil's advocate to the same level as well it depends on the person like what you need from that person like what do you need in the relationship do you need would, them be, to would it be fair to say that if the man has to compromise more he's an ill-equipped to even be in the relationship i wouldn't say that because i feel like there's a lot of things about women that we need to change but they don't like to but women aren't him. the leaders though that's the difference you're right but as a man, you know that you want a certain type of woman and you're going to sit here and say, OK, well, I'm going to give you a chance to correct some things. And if you don't want to correct it, I'll move on. Oh. And then we could say the same about men. So That's giving her a training uh, trial. I feel like we, both, <laughs> we all do that. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. So what's your take on it? Accept the, accept the woman as she is or does she have to acquiesce to the man? Accept the woman for who she is. OK. okay. So right. I'm going to accept you for who you are and I'm going to deal with you. Would it be fair to <laughs> say she plenty of all niggas? <laughs> and and the reason why I asked that is because we went earlier, we talked about this that men are less complex than women, right? Women are far more complex. 
So therefore, women have far more standards for them to even f- take a man seriously. Is that fair to say? Yeah. No, that's a fact. Yeah. That is. Awesome real so, shit. So by default, when a man deals with a woman, he inherently brings value because the woman would not deal with him if he did not bring value, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But on the other end, what men request of women is far less. Would that be fair to say? Mm-hmm. 100%. And when I say far less, I mean as in the amount of things that he might request are far less than what she would probably request on a balance of probabilities, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, but each of these things weighs more, right? Because let's say men want sex, silence, and sandwiches. Ha, ha, ha. Let's be funny. If we were to break it down to math, that would be 33%, 33%, 33%, right? right? So each one weighs more versus the girl wants, I want to be tall, good looking, attractive, um, confident. Money abs money whatever so it's a smaller percentage of each thing right which is why women typically make concessions compromise right yep so wouldn't it be fair for the man to be less willing to compromise if his standards are far less than the woman's on some real shit like i need the ladies (laughs) to have some critical thinking here if the man has to bring value to the table by default why should he have to compromise more than the woman that's bringing less value to the table so by default. default on some real shit? See what I'm saying? Like the, the thing is this, when I said, and I had to break it down like that because women get mad when I say you got to train your girlfriend, would you guys say American culture today teaches women to become good wives and more importantly, good mothers? Absolutely no. not. Yes or no? No. no? no. In, in no way. It teaches us to Ms. be Russia? more masculine. In America? And then you can say in Russia too. On I'm some sorry, real shit. I missed, uh, I missed the question again. What okay. Was I was just in does some American thoughts, culture. She ready to go home. Does American culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Does American culture teach women how to be good wives and good mothers? No. Okay. Definitely no. Okay. No. I don't think so. <laughs> we already know. Yeah, we don't know the answer to that one. No. No? no? no. Okay. So if I know that my girl has grew up in the United States or a Western culture, right? Which, you know, you got city girls running around saying, sell the pussy. You got <laughs> Cardi B, don't cook, don't clean, but still got a ring. And we have all this Hey, there was a video media. that contradicted that. Yeah, well, I know all, it was. All exactly. I was yeah. like, that bitch be saying that yeah. she be not doing that shit, but this is what yeah. she be doing. And, and, she, was, and, 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 she, and she was like, fuck you, nigga, but I'm going to keep sweeping and cleaning but, but what I'm doing. that's the point, though. The society isn't going to see that. So of what course. I'm saying is that young Me girls are growing that. up on this music in a fatherless household, constantly hearing this indoctrination that I'm going to do what I want, fuck men. So, are any of you guys athletes? Or former athletes? Played a sport? Yeah. Okay. Or, or Surely, dancer, anything? Gymnast. Anything competitive? Yeah. Anything competitive? Uh, everything, a little bit. Of everything. Okay. A little bit. So, when you were competing in your sport activity or whatever, you trained to be good at it, correct? Mm-hmm. For the purpose of winning. You took that skill and you consistently trained it to become better, to be the best version of yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So if if men, from the, let's look at thinking of it from the male perspective. If I have to pick a girlfriend and she's in an in a environment that isn't conducive to her being a good athlete, right? Let's say she's fat, hypothetically, not realistically, but let's say she's overweight. But I need to get her in shape to run a marathon. Wouldn't I need to train her? To get her ready for said marathon, 100%. to run with me. So that's why guys got to train women, typically from Western countries, because they have bad habits that typically will make them bad mothers and bad wives. That's not to say women are bad or whatever. It's just that women typically excel with male leadership. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, we all need a daddy in life. Yeah, and and in today's society, I I feel bad for guys that don't teach their women how to be better wives and girlfriends because. Right. Society sets up women to fail as mothers and daughters. Uh, sorry, as mothers and wives. So that's all I'm saying. So the training thing, when you break it down, why I say that, there, there's a there's a reason why society does not build. If it, unless you came from a strong father or a strong family, well, let's be honest, a lot of single mother households out here. So if she doesn't have that, the chances of her being a you know a, a degenerate are going to be high. So you got to like get those bad habits out if you're going to marry this woman and have a child with her. That's all I'm saying. Big facts. So anyway. Super uh, chats. Yeah. Super chats. And then uh, we'll thoughts. turn it to the ladies and last thoughts. Okay. Uh, Zentians, $50. High value men have to prove themselves to you every day. Don't have to prove themselves to you every day. 
You're delusional. I have everything, money, influence, and women coming to me as a man in medicine. You have to prove to me every day. You prove to me daily that I don't need to replace you. Prove me wrong. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that, was a, uh, that was a very direct way of saying it, but mm -hmm. that's that's how a lot of hiring men think. Uh, they just won't admit it. Abdallah Zahar, uh, $50. Shout out to Fresh of Fit. Can you ask the ladies if they even read to enlighten themselves on the current dating market and why and how they improved to meet the men they want. No, nah, man, they, 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 trust me, bro. Modern day women don't give a fuck what we think. I have nope. a library. East, yes, do. East side, Luo. Well, when I said men built the world, you you, you literally just like disagree with me even when I gave facts. Uh, East side, Luo. East side, Luo. Zar, Zar, uh, Zar uh, 9999. Open visuals of anarchy happening right now in South Africa. Men running over women, grand grandmothers, and children for loot. Police failing to intervene. Yeah. We're in yeah. the end. Protect them, <laughs> girl. I'm just what saying, you? as a community organizer Next. and activist, no, no, I love that. That she said, "Where are the men?" I'm it's true. Saying. When the police and the state can't protect you, who's going to protect you? Your brother, your husband, night. your cousin. <laughs> they're going to yep. protect you. What if we don't have them, people? We well, have to become well, them. Well, that sucks. That sucks. And Walker, fifty bucks. <laughs> that sucks. Find a man that loves you that will protect you. <laughs> just and then you won. Just uh, Edwin Walker, fifty dollars. Just to bolster Myron's point, one point five percent of the five hundred fifty-three plumbers, pipe layers, pipe fitters, and stream fitters in the U.S. were women. Ninety-eight point five percent men in twenty ten. <laughs> That's from before with the infrastructure. Uh, electricians, construction workers, bricklayers, concrete pours break down similarly. Yeah, very true. Uh, Kitty Kid Evil Doc. Uh, Kitty, yeah, Vil Doc. Uh, I always say to women, men are complicated, si complicatedly simple, and to and men. Women are complicated or simply complicatedly. I like that. That's a great quote. Um, NL X coach women, 60% of males talk, take care of hundred percent of women. These 60% of males can still take care of 40% of men. If you disappear, but 5% of women can't take care of 90% of women. Just get out of your feelings. That's all red cap. What he's referring to is, uh, the, the, you know, men working in, uh, jobs, uh, Zentience, $50. Uh, woman to the right of Miss Blonde is 100% false. People don't change for the most part. You, just like any other man, must vet their partner. People can lie about whom they are. If you choose wrong, take accountability for your choice. Don't blame others. King of the North. Uh, with the big 139 super chat. Thank you so much. All the way from Canada. Divorce rates of single women at all-time high. Birth rates at all-time low. Are they trying to lower the population or just times changing? Not, nah, bro. Um, women are incentivized to push uh, rearing children until later on in life. And We got uh, another one. What it is. Deductive reason. Honestly, Honestly pink, pink shirt, shirt and red pants with the fupa are the only ones that have a good chance to be married to a high-quality man. The rest of the ladies will probably end up as single mothers. All right. What? Okay, that's his uh, projection. <laughs> okay. uh, anything else? Okay. So That's why this podcast exists, man. You don't know that, bro. They might. They might... They might say, fuck you guys, we ain't listening, or they might listen. I don't know. Uh, so, ladies, last thoughts on the show. Last thoughts on the show. <laughs> Hate it, you love it. And you might we have another video, but we'll have it for you guys tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Any points you want to bring up? L last thoughts. This is interesting. Interesting. Disagreements, criticisms, anything like that? No. Miss Saudi Arabia? I said this was interesting. Okay. okay. Nothing. Okay. No. Yeah, it was interesting like to listen because like I have a lot of thoughts about it right now. I'm just like thinking about <laughs> what you were just saying. I'm like... It's hard to bring them out, huh? <laughs> Stop it. Get some, Get some help. help. Stop <laughs> okay. it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> there are a lot of thoughts. Okay. Um, right. um, I'm really grateful for the show. I enjoy it every time. Um, but my last comment is I am the prize. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the show since it was my first time ever, so I loved it, and I love like you know different discussions and points and opinions of everybody. So I think it was really educational and interesting, and yeah, fun. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate Thank, it. Thanks man. for being here. It's it's a it's an honest uh you know view into what men really think without being canceled or fired or called a yeah. Rapist. Yeah, or yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. Without the how dare you? So yeah. All right. Uh your take. Hey, what's going on? Like, just know y'all are gonna see way more of me. It is what it is. We teaming up. Look, me and Fresh and Fit. Y'all, y'all ain't worry, gonna guys. Get We're gonna give her as many white claws in the next one. Fresh don't worry. Fit. Fresh yeah, fit. Yeah. We got we gonna limit her white claws to two. Yeah. So don't worry. Uh what's your take on it? I'm grateful or views to or... be here today. I think this is a really good show because I feel like we as women like March. don't want to hear certain things mm -hmm. like the truth, mm -hmm. but like the whole comment about, you know, men built, 
you know, what we the have. World. Yeah, the world. What's it's going what on is. now? We wouldn't be able to survive. I completely agree. But yeah, I, it was nice hearing everybody's opinion about. Has your it. father ever told you any of these things out of curiosity, or, or no? About what? Like, kind of the discussion we had today, as far as like how men think or whatever. Have you, have you ever had discussions with him like this before, or no? Yes, but he was more awesome. Okay, I'm gonna teach you this just in case you don't run across a man who can lead you. you know? Okay, that's right. what we're. He set the... up contingencies. Yeah, just All in right. case. <laughs> cool. Got you, got you, got you. Okay. No, I mean, thank you for being open minded. It was very uh, pleasant to have you on. Very good. Um, the contrarian thoughts, opinions, criticisms. Do you hate us? Do you love us? It's okay if you hate us. We don't mind. Sure, we get it a lot. Be, be somebody else. Yeah. It was fun. I liked it. <laughs> okay. I want to do it again. Okay. Okay. I feel like we should talk about more stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. What 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 topic did you want to talk about? Um, more like with relationships and stuff. Well, did okay. we let the ladies ask a question? What question? No. Nope. We didn't. Not one. All right. One. We're gonna have a thunder round. <laughs> All right. Go. Uh, we'll turn it to ladies. If you have a question, cool. If you don't, no big deal. There you go. There you go. We will give you the ladies, the people, what they want. Do you have a question and or something that you wanted to discuss? Well, I don't have a question right now. So we can move on to the next person. Did... I might have a question though. I, I thought you said friends. you wanted to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know we was doing that right now. <laughs> oh, you, you mean next show? <laughs> next show, yeah. <laughs> okay, next show. I did have a question about because you said you did tell us what men want. You said compliant. I just want to know because submissive and compliant to me are kind of like very similar so can you like explain to me what the difference would be to you as far as a woman that's submissive and a woman that's compliant or i guess would you want i mean you do want both because that's what you said men want well i guess the word would be considerate like a woman that's considerate to a man because a lot of women they're thinking about themselves and for the most part it's kind of like okay if you want to lock a man down why would he's going to choose you over all the other girls all right if you consider it Let's say I'm I'm out mowing the lawn, it's hot. You see some lemonade here. You know what, babe? I got you. Here's some lemonade. That's being considerate. Mm -hmm. Versus, when are you gonna finish? We need we need to leave. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like that's being considerate to your man and saying, you know what, he's working hard for me. For us, I'm gonna help help him in his, his business. Maybe right. his business. It could be his his uh his job. You know whatever it may be. So I'm just saying, considerate me goes a long way. And most women, unfortunately, are not considerate. They're more like, okay, me 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 me. And then your man is like, yo, like. What about me? So Yeah. Just a quick uh, interruption. I just got a word from Trey. And that was a good question, but it ties in perfectly with the next video. So we'll play it. It's a short video. Yeah. It'll be a good point of discussion. I know the ladies are going to have this, uh, have, uh, have some, uh, some opinions on it. Uh, Chris, can we pull it up real quick? And then in the meantime, we got nails by Danny. Submission is great, ladies. My husband trained me and always tells me that I'm an exception to the rule because I'm black. So the black girls, because we're the least desired, be feminine. Or you'll be left out the group. Oh, Holy shit. What? That is Damn. So woo. It be like that. <laughs> Ladies, again, I, I always go off of statistics. Mm -hmm. It is statistically proven that black women have the lowest approval rate <coughs> for men. It's a fact. It is a fact. Oh, and here's the thing. You I guys, know this girl. Where did because that come they, from? They don't know how to treat men. They always it's it's so funny because like as a as a black Hispanic woman, that's definitely something that has come up like they don't know how to treat men. That's why black men usually go for white women. Okay, I'll say this. Um, it, it was it was basically based off a of Tinder uh, approval ratings. Is and the reason why those stats are valid is because online dating, you're able to be honest without repercussions. So what they found was black women had the lowest approval ratings on the female side, and then Asian and Indian men had the lowest approval ratings on the male side. Okay. So which you see, I laugh, and you know I'm telling the truth. So, uh, okay, so let's play this video real quick. Um, this has to do with um, gender roles and, and making money. So uh, let's play this thing. Day, you need somebody that you can let all the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're telling me, you're telling me that I have to go after I work long hours like a man home to you to give you my feminine energies and emotional labor to be cute little girl for you i don't think so 
And plus, if you want me to cook and clean a little, don't even. If I have a job, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> I'm coming home, taking my clothes off, and telling you to make me a fucking sandwich because I have to stand on my feet all day and then go get pregnant with your child. I do not care what anyone says. I do not care what anyone says. I will not be doing anything if I have to be working, okay? Make me a sandwich. Mm. Go ahead. I'm waiting. A boss. <laughs> wait, wait, what was that? Let's see what he said real quick because I think we missed that. It, it got cut off in the beginning. It doesn't play. It doesn't play? She cut him off. Yeah. Okay, she cut him off. Basically, what he said was uh, essentially, I need a girl to come home to that's going to work and be my partner, all this extra, you know, the typical thing. So, um, ladies, let's go through. Do you agree with her? Disagree? Is she crazy for those claims? Is she valid? What's your thoughts? Um, Start here. <laughs> Miss, uh, I want to talk more about relationships. I feel, like, I feel like what she's saying is true. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Agree. All right. <laughs> uh, like I said before, I feel like the woman should be the man's piece because uh, men, and specifically black men, have to be out in this world fighting a war every day with like everything that's going on in general, and then they should be able to come home to some peace. Mm -hmm. That that's just how. So, I do feel. you think that if a woman works, that she can um, dictate terms like that? In your opinion, or what's your thoughts? If the man is not working, but I'm pretty sure he is working. So, okay. if it's an equal, they both working. I don't know why she feels like that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, if every if both parties are working, why do you feel like you are the only person who gets to sit back and get a sandwich made? She's been on her feet all day. Cut cut her some slack. But what about him? He's been on his feet too, probably all day. Y'all make each other but, sandwiches, right? right. Get right. Cook. <laughs> you make a sandwich, I cut in weekly. Uh, okay. okay. Y'all should be able to afford a cook at that point. If Your thoughts? Both working. Figure the fuck out. I Figure the fuck out. That's Figure the quote of the night. Out. Figure uh, it out. Miss Rush, I think that woman was she Russian? Yeah, that actually yeah, sounded she very. Was, she was okay. really Russian. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's um, a Russian well, mother. Yeah. So yeah. what's what's your uh, well, what's your thoughts on that? Okay. So let's say coming from my family experience, my parents were entrepreneurs, right? And they were working together. It's like my mom was working, my dad was bo both working. And when I was younger, seeing my mom, like I didn't understand back then how tired my was the you know where they work and everything how tired my mom was and she had to cook for tomorrow for today tomorrow yesterday whatever she, and she had to give some time to me and then also you know to my dad and then it kind of it gets frustrating and it builds up over time and then you see the disagreements then you see how the marriage just you know it just because th then my if if let's say i don't know how to explain it if my dad, for example, would always be like, oh, yeah, she's always ready for me. She's always like ready to cook, ready to, you know, she's always fine because she not, she's not saying anything. She's mm -hmm. always not tired. So it makes it normal for my dad to think that she's always like okay. up and cheery, you know. But then my mom apparently has all this thoughts all the time. Like, oh, my God, I'm so tired. I can't do this anymore. And if the communication is not there later on, it's going to be like exp like explosion. So it has to be equal i guess you have to understand if the person like the woman cannot always be there if she's always working like you obviously she will get tired she might not have time for the kids nobody okay so it's you can see i've seen that on my parents okay but, okay you know. understandable um miss prize yeah miss uh, i am the prize <laughs> i'm glad y'all know so well let's speak, I... let's speak on that right here Oh, hold on, hold Girl to the left of Blondie, can you please explain how you are the prize? <laughs> we'll do that after. Speaking of the North, okay, yeah, we'll give her a chance to say that. He wants to know why you're the prize. But okay. we'll, we will, uh, with the final uh, statements, go ahead. Uh, well, based on the video, um, in general, I just feel like as women, we are supposed to cook. We are supposed to clean. I think that that's our duty. Um, but if we're working, I still feel like it should still be vice versa. I think it should be equal. If we're both on our feet all day making the same hours, okay, we need to take turns watching the kid. We need to take turns cooking. I think that'll be only fair. Okay. Okay. So I'd say in this situation, both both parties are working. Like I'd say to come up with a schedule or something like that. Or for example, she's cooking and like he's doing the dishes or something like that. Because um, if both of you working, so both of you are getting tired. Like, I mean... You're supposed to help each other and support each other. So, you know, come up with a schedule where, like, that's what I said. Okay. So the sandwich making needs to be split <laughs> if both people are working? It's, um... You're extremely opinionated, by the way. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> no comment? No. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, what's your take on this? Hustle. Uh, it should, hustle. Uh, yeah. I, hard. I hustle. Hi. Um, but talking on the about... Be- yeah. yeah, yeah. Can you uh, talk into the mic, please? But like talking about being a product of my environment, like my dad was a breadwinner, my mom was a stay-at-home mom for fourteen kids, but she also had a maid and she also had a cook and she also had help with that. But that's because those roles were clearly defined, where people define where their strengths and weaknesses were, and that's that. So I mean, I didn't hear the guy side of this, but I heard the girl side of it. And it's like, yeah, we're both working and we're both trying to support our household. It shouldn't be my duty to also go home and cook and clean and do that for you. We should equally be able to, at that point, be able to afford to have a cook and a housekeeper so that we could be comfortable and keep the balance. Okay. What's your take on it, Fred? It's funny, man, because um, my grandparents were married for 70 years. And even after... She'll, she'll go to work, you know, she worked the same hours as my granddad, come home, cook, clean, and it was tough, you know, three kids, going up in New York, and it's funny because um, up until today, today uh, rest, rest in peace, my granddad, he died um, uh, t- two years ago, um, she still goes to work, literally goes to work, and cooks and cleans, and you know why? It can be part of her, of her lifestyle, so it's not a burden on her. She knows, she knows her role in the household. His role is, to, you know what? Yes, I'm working too, but you're secure. You live in a nice house. You're taken care of. Whatever you want, whatever you want, you can get. So there, there's roles to be played here. I'm just saying, like, it was you your know. choice. But the Western culture here is that, oh, okay, you know what? If I'm working, I ain't cooking for no nigga. And it's like, I I understand that, but that's a role to play. If your man is doing a role for you in in the right lane, it makes sense to do that. But if not, you know, all I'm saying is that, like, look. Most cultures outside the West, they pretty much understand their roles and they play to those roles. Here in the West, we're like, I'm not doing A, B, and C. I might do A, but not A, B, C. So, you know. Um, I'll give what I think is the best. My personal opinion on this one. This one might not be rooted in fact, so I'm just going to give a personal opinion. My thing is this. As the man, you need to be the breadwinner at all times. Period. Your woman working should be a choice. Not necessity. She should be working because she wants to work. Now, if there's kids, her career now takes a back seat. Kids come first. We're not putting our fucking kids in no daycare. We're not putting them around with strangers. No. None of that. She has to meet the prerequisite first of the home. And then the the job is a choice if the, the house duties are done first. So if she wants to, I'll say, how do I say this? Choice to work. The house has to be handled first because I don't want to hear anything about, well, I'm tired. I've been working. Well, then quit your job because the house needs to come first. Now, if you want to have the energy and work 10 hours a week, 20 hours a week, part time, whatever, that's cool. But the house got to come first. And then when kids come, that window is even narrower. The kids either got to be raised by you directly or an immediate family member that's a grandparent or something like that. We are not leaving our kids with no goddamn daycare people. So that's how I look at it. Um, A woman's. Toy, a woman's uh, a woman working being employed is 100% a choice and on top of that I would tell her she can't do anything that's physical labor or anything that's going to actually tax her preferably something at home with a computer where she can manage the children if needed but the kids and the house comes first fuck your career yeah. a lot of women won't like that but I'm looking long term for my kids not for her personal enjoyment and fulfillment because bitch your fulfillment is going to come from these children not from your goddamn career and that's the truth the stats show it Women that are unmarried without children that have careers, 42 years old, are the least happy demographic of human being. So I know a woman's fulfillment comes from children on a balance of probabilities. And the children need to be raised by the mother because that is the best way to give your children a fighting chance in this degenerate society. So home comes first. If she wants to work, it's her choice. But it's never going to be to the point where the house is going to be compromised for that. And I think when you have it like that, where work is an option, then you can dictate terms and tell her, no, you are making a fucking sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't, I always say, you can't tell, just like women can't be untraditional, women strong and independent and then want a guy to be a gentleman, goes both ways, man. I can't be one-sided on this. I gotta, you know, I gotta keep it fair on both sides. If you're a man, you can't hold your woman to traditional feminine standards if you don't hold up your masculine standards on the other side yeah. traditionally. 
goes both go. ways. So True. anyway, uh, that's just my personal opinion, though. I know some guys like to do this, you know, 50-50 partnership shit. Like, oh, I make a sandwich today. You make a sandwich tomorrow. And then if that works for you. That's fine. Lastly, but... why are you the prize? They want to know. Ooh. Okay. So I feel like who would I be? What woman of value would I be if I didn't consider myself a prize? I think that um, I add value to anybody's life. I think very highly of myself. Um, I lo- my love language is different. My support system is different. Who I am as a person is adds to somebody else's life. I think that all that plays a part. Initially, you want to pick a woman who has their mindset, their a love system, their support. There, you want to pick a good woman to raise your kids because your your kids is gonna come out how your how the woman is gonna raise them. Mm-hmm. If if you're saying that you want to go to work and do all the other stuff, all the masculine stuff, then women we have to sit here and take care of the kids, which means that they're gonna fall on on our belief system, on what we do and things like that. So you have to you have to trust us at some type of degree. So I think that I'm a woman of value because I can carry more than just myself, just what you're looking for in a woman, but long term also what you want to affect for your last name, what you want to hold for your kids for the long run. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So uh, closing statements. We'll go around the table real quick or a question or whatever. I think we did anything. That. Right. I don't have any. It Nothing. was my first podcast. I love being here. Cool. Thank you guys for having me. No, thanks for coming on. No. Hmm. The mute. Well. I just <laughs> appreciate the content. I appreciate you guys. Sure. Yeah, I have no question, and I just want to say thank you, guys. I enjoyed it. Good point about your mother's story. I thought that was very important to to know that um, women get tired too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But very interesting though. Russian woman still did everything. Yeah, it's like no, a she, it's it's mm-hmm. a different mindset when you know when when women come from certain countries. Like it's like I worked, but this is my duty. I still only got here in the West do, it, do yeah. they complain and say they only want to do a. Yeah, I agree. See. Yeah, so. It's your girl, Lex, and you see so much <laughs> more of me. It is what it is, she right? Is already. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me up here. Appreciate it. Did that uh, scratch that itch of more relationship talk? Yeah, it did. For real? Yep. I think she's lying to me, but it's okay. I got the, no, I'm not I got lying. Uh, okay, guys, we'll be back here uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Late night show tomorrow, guys. Um, Zoom call will be this weekend, guys. Like we said, uh, the people Saturday overwhelmingly want weekends for Zoom calls. So we'll have that 200 tiered Zoom call and all fitness clients as well. Uh, and yeah, guys, other than that, man, we're going to go get some food. We'll catch you guys right here tomorrow at 10 p.m. Yeah, Chris. 10. Yep. All right, guys. Peace. Later. Thank you guys for Bye. support. Bye.